Yeah. Uh huh. What you got for him today, Showtime? Uh, uh, you got the boy Ship in the building. Yup. Yeah, Motivational purposes. We here. Town Temple. Uh huh. You are now listening to Philly. Showtime Speaks. Let that beat drop. Let me hear something, Showtime. Yeah. Pop it up. Uh. We've been at it for weeks. Uh huh. Uh. Constantly and consistently. We showing up every single week. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't want you to feel alone. That's why I'm screaming every single week. Uh, delivering to my people. I'm a motivational speaker. Yeah, but sometimes I feel like I'm meek. But that's why we freestyle every single week just to break the ice. All on Showtime speaks. Uh-huh. Hey. Let me see if I can catch this drone real quick. Uh huh. Look. Yeah. Look. Check. Uh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> look. Look. Uh-huh. I said, look. Uh huh. Look. Yo, yeah. Here we go, Ship. I said. Started from the bottom. Uh huh. Now we're going to the top. Yup. Got my man shipping in the building. Uh huh. About to run it up. Uh huh. Time to temple. Yeah. Temple to the lead. Ooh. Now we all together on Showtime Speed. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they know the vibes. What you got for a ship? Yep. Here we go. Here mm. we go. Yeah. Mm. It's time to shine. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. We still on that grind. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. About to bust out these rhymes. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. 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 Showtime speaks, baby! What's the matter with you? There is no tomorrow! Talk to him, Showtime. Talk to him. Episode 16! Talk to him. Showtime speaks! Yes, sir! We got the whole gang in the building! Yes, sir! We missing one. BXA Digital, he missing today, but we got FSC Media Team! Uh-huh. We got K Red! Yes, sir! We got Ship in the building! Yes, sir! Come on, you already know what time it is. Big shout out to the sponsor, Cozy Jewelers. Come on, man, the jewel that keeps us cold. Oops, I meant Cozy, stop playing! Damn. What's up, man? What's going on? Kenny, you already know what's up, man. Bro, I'm it's... feeling that. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm feeling like one of them ball playing yeah. motherfuckers, <laughs> man. Like, the rhymes, the energy, yeah. we just. To, this is that episode we've that been waiting episode, for, bro. bro. I feel like my shoulders is coming down with, I, with the guests that we got in here today. Uh-huh. Like, before we even introduce them, like, talk to us, man. What's going on, Kenny? Man, look, again, I say this every week, man. It's a blessing to be here, man. Yeah. And, what, week 16? Mm. And I think, uh, again, I, I keep saying this to you. Yeah. I think the beauty about this whole thing is being consistent. Yeah. Now, sometimes yeah, people yeah, yeah. think things are going to happen overnight, and they yeah. don't. But, uh... The consistency is yeah. what matters, and the more we do it, the more it's going to just keep growing and growing and growing. But it's good, bro. I got my nephew here. Yeah. Lean Bean. Shout out to yeah, Lean Bean. Shout out to Lean Bean. with me for the week. Yeah. Um, That's love, man. And of course. We he got, need that. He need that. Yeah, he need that. Yeah, bro. We've been vibing all week, man. V- vibing all week, working out. Um, yeah. And of course, bro, we got bro in the building, man. You feel me? Like, bro, like, yeah, for sure. the crazy mm-hmm. thing about this is... Like, well, we really been rocking for a minute. Nah. And it's crazy. Just to, I can feel that even when he walked in, I could just feel that brother energy. I could feel that that energy that I think that I needed, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And I just that, bro, like this is a person who like whenever I really needed something, like I needed a real conversation. Mm-hmm. And like it was a time where like I felt like nobody really understood. I'm calling Brandon Shipman, man. Nah, no and you know what I'm saying? And like, bro. You know, this person right here, man, he's special to me and Kenny. Facts. You feel me? And they've been rocking longer than me and him. So mm-hmm. he's the person that really, like, he put all these pieces together, man. Brandon Shipman, man. What's good, man? What's up with y'all, man? I'm here today. <laughs> Shot is on. Yeah, you feel here, me? We here, yeah, we here, yeah. here, man. Big dog energy. What's uh-huh. up? Big dog, big dog. Like I said, man, we here. Brandon Shipman in the building. Yeah. Shout out to the the podcast. Yeah, Showtime uh, Speaks, man. It's a great production company, man. Yeah. Production team. Yeah. I've been seeing y'all do y'all things for the last, like I said, what, 16 weeks? 16 weeks. 16, weeks, 16 yeah. weeks, man. Been Like I said, I told you before we got yeah. on the air, man. Been like poetry in motion. Everything nah, I smooth, appreciate that, man. Legit. The visuals is on point. Yeah. And like I said, I just want to say I'm proud of y'all, yeah. man. Getting us together, man. Like yeah. I said, you never know where our journey take us, Nah, man. for real, bro. And, and this is like, and like I said, in this space now, in the world we in now, this is huge. Bro. For, for all avenues. Yeah. That's love, man. Just hearing that, man. That's I got the chills. You feel me, like, bro? Like it's it's crazy because, like, how it go is you introduced me to Kenny, and then Kenny, we been like, we like this now, and then like, bro, it started off by Kenny just saying like, "Yo, speak in front of that camera sheet. I need you. Pick up the phone. I'm in traffic, pulling over it, feeling Mm -hmm. Showtime speaks, building it from there, and to see where, like you said, man, to see where it's at now. That's crazy. I mean, it's it's a major blessing, man. Like, but like, 
we want to hear about Brandon Shipping, man. Like, we want to hear about, like, you. Like, if you can describe yourself, if you can, if somebody don't even know Brandon Shipping off the street, mm -hmm. <clears throat> what you saying to him, man? What's the kind of illustration that you want to give these people, man? Uh, so with me, like I said, I, I take pride in I'm I'm very humble. Yeah. Humble guy, man. I'm very understanding. Uh, always keep a positive perspective of everything I do. Yeah. Uh, I always handle my business no matter what. Um, and I always live by, uh, like, basically, like, three codes, three laws, I say. Yeah. One is walk by faith, not by sight. Yeah. Uh, the second one is uh, I can only control what I can control. Yeah. Uh, and the third one is basically like his plan is my plan, man. Yeah. And 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 there's nothing I can do about it but control my free will and be a good person. Yeah. Be supportive and and everything. Whether you believe in the universe or the man upstairs, it's always going going to receive your blessings. All right. That's love. That's love. I, I, right. And it's crazy because um that second one, control what you can control, <laughs> that's the one you taught me. Well, yeah. when I was going through my stuff, of yeah. course, I, I told my story. And, of course, just like you, yeah. I would call a ship all the time. Like, damn, yeah. man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he, he is one person who witnessed what happened to me at Westchester. Yeah. He came to a camp, well, my spring game, and practice. So he saw, and um, one thing he always told me, bro, you just got to control what you can control. Literally. And um, I've been living by that code ever since. So Literally. I appreciate them words for me. Nah, yeah. Let's like, let's, let's 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 take it back though, yeah, man. Let's yeah. you know, y'all talking about your relationship. Like, yeah. How did the Brandon Ship and Kenny Reds thing start, man? Um Because like, yeah, bro, yeah. he was the first nah, he, yeah. you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. besides yeah. C Ray, it was Nah, it was ship, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For me, I'll just give a little background. I just remember probably in like eighth grade ship. We was at the pen release, and my mom got her own track team. Yeah. And, you know, my uncle, my uncle Leonard, a Will Pop, he used to be a coach on the track team. And we all went to the pen release because Caitlin was running and all that. Yeah. And we saw him run. And I don't know if, who talked to him, but <laughs> basically they recruited, shipped to come run for Electric Force. And then, bro, we was just with each other all the time. And we built that relationship. And we was... Nah, we was with each other probably like every day, bro. Yeah. For like probably like two years, bro. Like, yeah. Well, every summer at least. Yeah. Because we would do track practice. We would mm -hmm. uh practice together. We would he would come down, play ball. Yeah. I don't even want to put this out there. Then he start dating my, my sister. sister. No. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't want to put shout that out there. Shout out to Kate. Yeah, shout out to Kate. I wasn't trying to put that out there. Yo, he's but. sharing today. He <laughs> opened it up today. I, I, I wasn't yes. trying to put that out there. But, <laughs> but no, nah, he started That's dating crazy, Kate. Bro. And then uh, again, bro, we just always was together. Then um, yeah. we built a relationship and you know, he would come to Maryland with me. Yeah. And um, then fast forward, we played against each other in high school too. Yeah. But yeah. fast forward, and I said this on the first episode, I um wanted to go to the league. I was mm -hmm. in a, yeah. I was in, you know in that in between. Then I had an internship. Yeah. And Ship actually was with the Rams at the time and came to uh, yeah my internship, bro. That's I called dope. him up. I'm like, right. bro, come up here for a workout, and let me train you, whatever. And then uh you know I put him through that workout and then. My life changed, bro. Nah, he, yeah, yeah, not yeah. dead ass. Nah, he bro, he bro. the one who said, nah. I, he said, yo, you yeah. can, uh, I said, bro, can you see me doing this? He said, yes. He called it Res Camp. And all I needed, like you said, all you need is one person one to tell person. you something. And yeah. I just run away with it. The next thing you know, I start training him, Craig, then he brought you along. Yeah. That's kind of how yeah. this whole thing happened, bro. So we like, it got to be like 11 plus years, 10 yeah, that's, plus years that's relationship in. Yeah. Yeah. So he really liked my brother. No, nah, that's love, Like man. that ass. So I want to hear, I want to yeah. hear ship side of that story, yeah. man. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much the same as what Red said. Uh, yeah. I remember, uh, yeah, pin release, happened at pin release. I, we had run a little relay and then I remember walking back to uh, my seat and I think like uh, Plymouth and Nars on the time, like sat close to each other yeah. or whatever. And uh, I had, I think I had walked past. He was like, uh, are you Brandon Shipping from uh, yeah, uh, Norris High Middle School? Uh, I'm like, yeah. She, he was like, you, you you run any summer track or anything like that? I think it might have been Coach Leonard and my mom, mom came yeah, at this, yeah. like sitting mm -hmm. together talking to me. And I'm like, I'm like, no, I don't. I just run track for school, then play football, then 
go from there. It was like, yeah, come over in the summertime. Like, you, we would love to have you. And ever since then, Boom. I remember Uncle Leonard used to come pick me up <laughs> yeah. in my house in Narsetown, pick the kids up, his yeah. Narsetown kids. Yeah. All around. Uh, every time we had practice, he could take us to Plymouth every day. Like I said, I always, I always uh, appreciate him for that. No, uh, yeah. Then, like I said, by just being with each other, practicing each other, hanging out, staying over Uncle Leonard's house before track meets, traveling. Yeah. All that you just build, you just end up building that that previous relationship, or well, that prior relationship, prior relationship with them, and um, and ever since then, like I said, we just been brothers since. Uh, we like I said, we played played in high school together. We yeah. always very competitive with each other. Yeah, like, yeah, we gonna, yeah. Gonna whoop your ass, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we literally was rival high schools. Yeah. Uh, but it's always was brotherhood. Obviously, we used to go down there, like I said, ride our bikes to country, and yeah. play ball over there. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, like at the time. Some parts I was dating his sister, uh, so that made it a little more closer bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the family period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, that, and from then it was just up in the up. way. That's love. Yeah. That's love. It's crazy because when we talk about these stories and you bring back these memories, man, I remember the one day I walked into my mom's job and like you was at the front desk, bro. Yeah. And like that's kind of how we first yeah, met. LA, we yeah. LA, Fitness, LA Fitness, like we yeah. was, bro. I remember we used to be standing there having like. 30, 40 minute conversations at the yeah, front yeah, desk, yeah. just vibing, just yeah. talking about whatever, life, Literally. football, mm -hmm. trying to make it to the next level. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Him grinding, but still working at the same time, yeah, seeing him yeah, in that yeah. light. And then, bro, we just kind of just, bro, the connection just happened, bro. Yeah, yeah. And we just, every single time I used to, because I used to go in there all the time to go mm -hmm. work out and get my work yeah, in. Yeah. And he used to be at the front desk vibing, doing his thing. Yeah, And it's just crazy how, then we is all these years later, and bro, he mm -hmm. introduced me, bro. When he introduced me to you, I was just like, because at the time I told you, mm -hmm. I was looking for somebody who to really like train with, but he was the first person that yeah. made me believe mm -hmm. in Reds Camp, bro. Mm -hmm. Like when you really think about it, sometimes it's gonna take for other people to inspire you, mm -hmm. to be to put you on. But when somebody puts you on, what you gonna do with it? Mm -hmm. And like, bro, like. You responded to doing something with it, and mm -hmm. then I responded to doing something with what he told me. Bro, it's all information-based, oh, bro. Yeah, bro. And, like, bro, we built off that, man. And, and like, to still, like, y'all, the crazy thing is, man, you would think I would have, that I grew up with y'all. Nah, you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, like, it, and, and it's different <clears throat> for me because it's hard for me, too, because, like, like, the dudes who I grew up with, like, I, I, don't, I don't see yeah, them. I don't yeah. see everybody. But, like, mm -hmm. y'all became my, like, my... My circle, my yeah, people. Nah, for sure. And um, nah, man, I I I remember those days, those times. Me too, bro. We was really, <laughs> bro. We was at that time. I, I still remember the workout. I still remember him telling me, "Yeah, she gonna come." I'm yeah, like, yo. Bet. We got a same workout. I still mm -hmm. remember the same workout, bro. But it I, was we, hot that day, hot, bro. And I still remember, even shortly after that, yeah, we was at the field two, three times a week we was, together, bro. just yeah, getting to it, for getting sure, to for sure. it, and then it just. Kept going and going and going, bro. Yo, we like so. if you really think about it, we really been building off each other energy for years no, now. For yeah, years, bro. Oh, I said I feel like we all had the same mission. Like I said, what crazy thing about the story about Ellie Finney situation was I always heard about. Like I said, I never seen you in person. Yeah, but I always heard your name. Like I said, I think it was a class ahead of me. So yeah. I seen the people from Philly, yeah, and make yeah. the league and all that. So I heard about your name, but I never seen you your face. That's crazy. And when I had came home from being released from Miami. Yeah. I didn't really have no gym to work out at. Yeah. Like it was the middle of the season. Uh, I think I didn't feel like traveling back to the temple to work out. I think yeah. so, Ellie Finish was like literally right there. Cause I was still I went back to my grandma crib in, in Uptown. Yeah. So it was kind of close to that, to the LA, LA Fitness. And by being there so much, I got a relationship, I never had a relationship with his mom. Yeah. And then his mom was telling me, like, hey, my son is uh, my yeah. oldest son is what? Then we start talking about it. He started coming in. We start yeah. talking more about a relationship. Like I said, I love his mom. Yeah, yo. Like yeah. she my mom. That's like, great. Yeah, yeah, that's I, love. Helped, I helped him move into a new crib. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's you love. still and you need to compensate me on that too. <laughs> 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 I live in the college up in the steps. The steps. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, uh, that's a crazy story, yo. Yeah, that's I, real life though. But, but seriously though, like I said, she when she came in, uh like I said, just you just you just know when you meet somebody from the from the rip, yeah. like you know, like the, the energy, you know that 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 relatable relationship y'all yeah. gonna have from the beginning. You yeah. like, oh, I can see him, my brother. I can see him yeah. being around. I can see him bringing yeah. him around my other friends yeah. or my yeah. other yeah. family. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, that's that 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 times. Like I said, I, I believe we both was home from teens. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I got like, cut too. Yeah. Yep. So we was, I mean, yeah, like home grinding, waiting for the next call. So we always in the same space. 
basically our, nah, our entire for real. NFL career. Real journeyman. And then, like I said, in the meantime, I was still with Reds at the time. And then I was like, man, let's see, you want to get that work in? Yeah. Let's come, come over there for me. <laughs> yo, like, yo, when we first started them workouts, we was talking crazy, like Talk, having fun. Bro, I'll, like, I'll never forget. <laughs> I'll never forget this. We was playing, we was uh, at PW, bro. And I, y'all been... Y'all just got released. So it probably was like three, <laughs> four I know this weeks story now. Where y'all didn't get nobody in front of y'all to yeah, get some yeah. movement. You know, I'm like, all right, today, bro, I'm I'm a, I'm a guard. Y'all. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nah, real rap. And then we start going. Yeah. She talk about <laughs> this dude don't belong on the same field of this shit. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh man. Okay, yeah, he turned me. He turned yeah, me. Yeah. I'm like. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, this is crazy. Yo. And like, I'm um, I mean, control, but no, like, you good. One thing I said that, that Rez Kenny separated himself from other people. He gonna he gonna get it. To, he gonna get to it nah, real with rap. you. Nah, like, real rap. he gonna do the workout with you. Yeah, he gonna compete with you. Yeah, yeah. he gonna talk it that. I'm yeah, talk that talk. That's, yeah. That talk to you. Yeah, and it's like it, it, that brings the best out of nah, for both real. trainer Play, and yeah. player. You yeah, feel nah, me? Yeah. And. Like I said, I don't want to speak on anybody else training and yeah. all like that, but that's one thing that I always felt comfortable bringing people to Kenny because I knew that he gonna bring the best out of him, and I know he never yeah. gonna disappoint me. So you yeah, know, I will never get my, I will never lose my credibility. Yeah, because I know how he gonna care. He gonna be on time. He gonna be punctual. He gonna be about his business. He gonna be, he gonna be at you. He gonna tell you what it is. He gonna tell you what it ain't. He gonna, I mean, he gonna push you to to be the best at what you want to be. And and you you could you could see that whole process. Instilled into his players, no, and they got yeah. better, and yeah. to himself as he got better, as yeah. he got smarter, as he got more, I mean, broader to yeah. different sports and yeah. avenues and populations. That's like, real life, like, and that's like not, and just watching that, and it's just like, it's crazy. Man, he really, yeah, he, he like he really big dog. He be he be laughing. I be saying, I be like, man, listen, <laughs> nah, yeah. I be like, listen, yeah, crazy. watching, yeah, I be hating on you, Red. I'm trying to tell you, yeah. boy, yeah, yeah. He, man. I'm like, no, nah, I'm bro, dead ass serious. I don't look at it like that though, bro. Nah, you really bored. You think you think I'm playing? Like, you really bored. They really like. I be trying to tell trying them every to tell week, really bro. Like, it's hard to see when you win it, man. Yeah, trying bro. You, for real. Trying to tell you, y'all, you bro. Bored. I don't be looking at it like that, but I appreciate it, man. Nah, bored, yeah. But that's 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 real life, bro. Like when you really sit back and really think about it, bro. I feel like every single week that, you know, and just having you on ship and just hearing that from another person. From the person who right like, really like gave him that like yo come on bro you got yeah. it you got it and to see it kind of like happen in, in real life bro bro like you need to hear that nah, bro. I do bro you feel nah, me because like, like I do be needing to hear bro we really be going it. through hard times yeah. bro we out there working out the other day yeah. and you screaming at me it's year ten it's year ten and I'm yeah, bro, bro. That's a, yeah, that's I'm true. breathing hard and yeah. I'm on one knee and I'm like year ten what's up like yeah. I'm Bro, like the energy, the yeah. energy different, bro. Yeah, energy, like, energy, energy is a big dang. thing in, in progress, I believe. It really is, man. Big shout out to our sponsor, Cozy Jewelers. We have a huge, beautiful, oh, the most amazing holiday coming up, and that's Mother's Day. And why not? Why not go spend your money at Cozy Jewelers to go give your mom exactly what she needs, man? And down there, man, you can always count on. They got those diamond earrings, those diamond pendants, the diamond bracelets. Come on, man. And you know everything is handpicked. And you know they got the five C's. Step on up, man. Color, clarity, cut, carrot, cozy, diamonds. Come on now, man. This is a super special time. And don't forget, not just the mothers. We've got the Father's Day thing coming up as well. And don't forget about those graduates. If you want to go spend your money, if you want to go spend it wisely, and you want to go spend it with a family-owned business that really cares and really puts those fine-tuning last touches on all customized pieces, come on, man. Go spend that money at Cozy Jewelers, man. You already know. Let's hop into this segment, bro. Let's, let's, let's have a little bit of fun, man. Let's get to know shit, man. We call this quick response, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a little fun with it, see what he sees. See if he good on his toes, man. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right. I'm first, Shep. There you go. All right. Go what's, your, what's your favorite hobby? Mm-hmm. Favorite hobby? Uh, watching TV. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Favorite clothing brand? So I watched Craig John Red's kit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but he got Come the most. He got the most gear. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, 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 right, 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 yeah. right, my guy. Come yeah. on, now. nah, all the time. Yeah. Right. So, all right, I know you like this one. Favorite vacation spot? I like. I'm a, I'm a Caribbean guy. I love. I love the pretty water, palm trees. Yeah, nice yeah, weather, yeah, yeah. The uh, coconut. All that. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, toes, and sand. <laughs> 
Bro, this boy vacation bull right here. Vacation yo. bull. Here we go. All right. Think about this. All right. Here we go. You on an island. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go to your little spots that you like to go to. Mm -hmm. You can only have one item. What are you taking? And why? One item? One item and why? Come on. Uh, Probably my phone. There you go. And why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you need that phone for? What you need that I phone mean, for? I mean, just to, I mean... I don't know, like monetize. I monetize my, uh, like, just. I mean, yeah, you, you're a capture bull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you know what I mean? When I'm when I'm home and when it yeah. might be cold up here, I could look back like, yeah, I remember. Yeah, all right, let's go get back down there again. Yeah, so yeah. it's like more about that. I guess I'm just. I mean, yeah. yeah. All right, I, I there you go. Yeah, I don't know. money. I don't. Know. Yeah, you good? Yeah. Next question. Last one, bro. One on one. <laughs> Me and you. Who you got? Who you got? Come on, man. You can't, you can't <laughs> who, tie who, my shoes. Who, who, you, who you got, Sheehy? Oh, listen, cause, listen, cause cause the last time we all was out there, what happened? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> first of all, I don't remember. First of all, the last time we all was out there, what happened? I first remember. of all, I don't. First of all, that, that, that part was the craziest workout we ever did. It was 110 degrees. <laughs> it was crazy. It was long. Yeah. We had no yo, legs. It was crazy. Yo, and we had no quarterback. At it, yo, we all used to be going at it. And man. on top of that, one, you can't guard me, and two, I ran you around high school. No, you didn't. We was gonna talk about that too. That's, I should have. Dang, I should have brought that tape up. Randy moved around high school. No, you didn't. Said he on his butt. No, no, you didn't. No way. No, you didn't. We got the tape. I be do. You can, you can, you can, Randy you can Mulver. be the judge. I you, can get you can. Over. You can be the judge. Randy, no way. Set on, no, set never. on his butt. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> never. All right, let's move on, on to the next butt. segment, yo. Never. Let's have. Let's let's keep the vibes going. Let's keep the fun going, bro. Like, all right, here we go. We got like a couple of clips from you know. B ship old days, man. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Some temple tough days, some mm -hmm. college, some 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 NFL. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Tell me how you feel about these videos when you see them, man. Yes, yeah, let's take it back. To the Baja, yeah, they can nah, keep up. He was definitely like keep that. Up. That, was, that was a strong runner. It was like that. Yo. Trip. nah, he was like that, bro. I put this tape on last night. <laughs> he was like that. And every clip was him sprinting <laughs> full speed. And nobody catching him, bro. Talk about this, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, like I said, one thing I one thing I harped on in high school that I'm glad I did was run track. Um, yeah. Because that made me develop my speed yeah. at a high level where people in the high school feel couldn't keep up with me. So as long as I was fast than everybody. I was going to outrun and score touchdowns and make plays and, and stuff like that. And I said, like, and also track made me a strong runner. Yeah. So I can finish them long 60, 70 yard runs. Nah, for real. Caught. Nah, that. Continue to be explosive. So, nah, yeah. So, like, that's one thing I said. I mean, God bless me with, with natural gift. Nah, gifts you, was, you was out there cooking. He was, out, he was out there. He, he went crazy on us, too. Yeah. He went crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it was just, it was just like, I don't know. I just had a, I just was. You didn't just play offense, though. Yeah, I played both sides of the ball. You was, played both player. sides of the ball. You was, was a, a player, athlete, player. bro. Nah, for real, nah, bro. For sure, for sure. So I'm you went to Norristown all four years? Yeah, high school, yeah. High school, yeah, all four yeah, years. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy, yeah. bro. We got a couple more clips, though, man. We got one more. We got one. We got a couple more. Oh, yeah. We got this one. Oh, yeah. This, you probably can't I, I hear hate it. this video. Yeah. 58 yards yeah. today. Great Talk crazy. Out there. How did this fourth preseason game feel for you? It was good just getting out there, just, just giving the starters and, and, and the guys, uh, older guys uh, rest and just going out there making plays. Coach Yard, with McVay, McFlor and all of them. Just, yeah. just put trust in the uh, younger guys to go out there and execute our offense at, at, at any at any time possible. <laughs> yeah. Stuff like Yo, that. I so, see, I, yeah, it's just, it's just it's so a, it's a fun game and, so and it's just good to get out there, put a whole game, feel like college days again and stuff like that. So it well, definitely was a fun. As Marshall Fox says, you showed out today. Good job. Damn, Great game, bro. Back to you guys. Uh, let me let me speak on that 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 situation. That yeah, right yeah, that's crazy. I was literally caught off guard. Yeah. After that game, I literally just came off a last drive mm -hmm. to like the the to the clock to run out. Yeah. And they pulled, and I didn't even like I I was just playing the whole game. I did every special teams. I was for a preseason game. You know how that goes. Yeah. You playing everything. They want you to play all that film on tape. You playing the whole game. Yeah. So I'm. I played every snap of offense, literally, and I come off the. I'm coming off the field, going locker room. I'm thinking, is she just pulled me to the yeah. side? So I was like caught off guard. I didn't know really what to say. I yeah, was tired. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. rough, sweating. 
I was so it was like I, I it's kind of cringy watching it, but I, it was definitely a, 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 a moment. Nah, yeah, yeah, that's a big stage right there, man. Yeah, it was, was bro, heavy. giving was, you heavy yeah, props, yeah, Marshall yeah, Falk. I was, yeah, I was energy. doing my thing, dog. Like I said I was. That was that was a fun time though for sure. I ain't gonna lie, that was a very fun. Lambo time. Stadium, Lambo, yep. They, That's they love. Seen, seen. That's like one of the most historical stadiums yeah, in the NFL, seen. bro. And, you seen. bro, I just want you to really like, bro, like talk about that. Talk about that experience that day in that game. Like, yeah. what was you feeling? Like, what type of mode? Like, what was the approach? Like, how did you? You know, I know how them NFL games go. Yeah. And I know how that fourth preseason go, man. Just yeah. talk about that experience, bro. So you know, uh, like, I mean, this is my second year in the league. So you know, uh, them preseason games can't yeah. matter a lot. Like, yeah. Them reps you gonna get might be minimum. Yeah. yeah, you might get a lot. You might get a little, but the reps you better get, you better Maxim execute. Yeah. You better maximize it. So, in that year, uh, it was Sean McVay's first year. So it was kind of like every kind of say a fair shot, but everybody had a chance to showcase their skills. Yeah, yeah. and. He gave, and I was somebody who came in and knew he was a new offense, and I learned that offense. I knew, I knew, I learned every, every spot spot in that offense. So it was more like they trusted me. So the more they trust you, the more reps you got. So going to the four preseason game, really all the starters who already made the squad is already they sitting, they just resting, mm -hmm. and this is basically our time to shine. So I took it upon myself to, yeah, no make mistakes. Catch the ball, make plays. I was a, I was a kick returner. I did everything that game. I was yeah, I, mean, yeah. I won everything on film. Yeah, yeah. And I tell everybody, you're not really, you're not just auditioning for that team you're on right now. You audition yeah. for the whole oh, league. league yeah. Yeah. So whatever you put on tape, the whole league is watching. Wow. Yeah. Like literally. So I'm like I said, of course I wanted to, I mean, I'm I'm playing for my coaches, my players who I'm currently on, but yeah. at the day I'm still playing for my future livelihood yeah. and and Maybe possibly my next opportunity. Yeah, and I just left it all on the table. Honestly, like I said, it was just an opportunity for me to just showcase myself as a full game. Like you say, yeah, usually yeah. you don't never you really don't get never to play get, get that full chance. game yeah. until you since you probably been in college. If nah, you yeah. if you that type of that type of bubble guy, yeah, blue collar type uh a player on the roster. So mm -hmm. I just made it. I mean, I just made it. Point. Like I said, I had somebody like Tavon Austin, yeah, uh, one yeah. of the older guys that I looked up to, always be like, yo, you go out there, ship, do your thing, ship, do your yeah. thing, like, do your thing. Like, that's one of my, to this day, Yeah, it's one of my guys, he, all, he always would be like, man, listen, go out there and, and, and snap. Yeah. So I was like, man, listen, I'm going to go out there and do my thing, no regrets. Wasn't worrying about nothing but controlling what I can control, like I yeah. tell yeah. Yeah. You balled that game. You definitely yeah. balled that that's game, heavy. bro. And you talked about, bro, in that video, you talked about, like, bro, it felt like college, college days. Man, literally, mm. I was... Or shoot, we about, we, we, about mix, to, we, we about to we about to take mix. it back to college right now. Like, uh, let's show this clip. Let's show this clip back. Let's show this clip. PJ Walker. I was waiting for this Brandon clip Shippen. right here. Shout out to P. Shout out to P. Out to P. Out to P. One hand. Come on. Ew. I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell a little story about this. Please. Because right I still I still remember this drawing. I was at Kustown. Yeah. Watching this game. Bro. Yeah. And. When I saw this happen, bro, I was screaming in my room, going yeah. crazy, calling my mom. Yo, you see that? Yo, I'm mm -hmm. calling. I'm calling T. Smith. Yeah. I'm calling everybody in my family. Like, yo, did you see Ship just score? That, that joint crazy against, against Notre Dame. Man. Against bro. Notre Dame, bro. That's love. You know, I remember that. Yo, he, he went on the backstory. You know, another little backstory about this situation was when I went to the league or doing like the draft process. Mm -hmm. I was talking to the, the Chargers. Came up to me. The Chargers scout came up to me. He was like. You know, when you came into our radar, I said, nah, I said, we're not coming to our radar. He was like, when you scored against Notre Dame, but it wasn't a touchdown that you were having. It was the next play, you went down and kickoff and made the tackle. Wow. So he was like, that's what, that's what really yeah. popped out. Yeah, the, the one hand touchdown, the big stairs, college football, yeah. everything is Notre Dame and college game day and all that was cool. But the fact that you, was humble enough and yeah. you knew your lane and you knew your your responsibility to the team and to go down and kick off yeah. and make the tackle off that touchdown yeah. was like Wow. You you you, you we were so No, nah, that's love, bro. Well you know, that was a fun time. That that was that was that was they turned they, they was turned Philly up all there, bro. College game day in Philly was that was that was different. Yeah, that that's probably that was that was a different Time and it's crazy, man. Situation. PJ still rocking too, yeah, man. PJ, yeah. shout out to P, man. man. He, in it, he in it, man. He in it to win it for real, for sure. bro. Nah, man. Like we've been, we've been talking about all this, you know, the college stuff, the high school, the high school stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Let's take it back, though, man. I, I kind of want to retract, and I want you to talk about high school a little bit. I want you to talk mm-hmm. about your upbringing, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, how it all started for you. Who gave you the football? You know what I'm saying? You said you, you ran track. You did all these different things, man. Just talk about your background and and, and your family and all mm-hmm. that. Yeah, where you from? Like, I think you, I'm, I'll be saying you from town, but you like, no. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm half, like, half. Okay. But uh, before I, I want to say that, the reason why I got the glasses on is because I be watching she get a little teary out of her. And I don't want to catch, you know, <laughs> catch, catch me slipping in here. Like, no, like, no. Nah, but, for uh, real, man. Nah, I'll be seeing, like, we going deep on That's why I appreciate this podcast. Nah, yeah, yeah bro. Love people get out. They need to get out. No, nah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I come, well, uh, my beginning of my childhood uh, from uptown, my near area, uh, Mission Avenue. Uh, I lived there probably about, so I was born in Philly, uh, lived there probably about when I was like 10 and 11. Yeah. Then we moved to Norristown, uh, but uh, in my my Nary up, uptown days, uh, like I said, I come from uh, welfare. Yeah. I come from, uh, I mean, it's impoverished neighborhoods. Yeah. Uh, I mean, low economic um, black community. Uh, Single mom raising three kids. Yeah. Uh, basically, my entire my entire childhood and teenage teenage years, and uh, just uh, like I said, I, I was I was a middle child. On top of that, yeah, I had an older brother. I got a little sister on my mom's side. Uh, I got a uh, some siblings on my dad's side as well. But uh, I was spent more majority time with my mom. Um, yeah. But yeah, just throwing that before I nursed down. Just uh, like I said, I was a little younger. Uh, but just just seeing things like. Taking the access card to the corner store and the poppy store to get yeah. sandwiches. Yeah. But as young, we don't really know. We don't nah, really yeah. know like yeah. what that really is. That's just, that's just our environment is normal yeah. to us. Like right. so, uh, just things like that. Getting, I mean, your lights getting cut off and you yeah. got the candles in the windows. Yeah, it's for real. Like I said, you just think it's. I mean, that's just part of I me. Mean, the environment is. There's nothing. It don't, you don't. It don't seem abnormal at the time. Yeah. Uh, things like. Um, like boiling hot water and yeah, man. taking bird baths yeah, for school different. the next yeah. morning. Like I like I said, I've been through. I don't talk about a lot about that. I'm not nah, right. My mom. I don't know. You might be mad. I'm bringing this up. Whatever. But it's your like life, I said, man. It's, I mean, it's part of my journey and our journey. And and I always commend my mom on being strong. That's that's kind of like where I get my I strength from. Seeing her raise three kids and bounce back from everything. As you get older, you see like yeah. what they really had is yeah. Provide and go through to keep us on the track. Like I said, coming from I mean the hood and and our backgrounds, we wasn't supposed to make it. We wasn't supposed to yeah. Yeah. succeed. We was we supposed to be either dead or in jail or just doing nothing. You feel yeah. I mean, just just the environment and just the precedent of of where you from. Yeah. So the fact that my mom was able to keep us whole, keep us together, and keep herself together, yeah. so we wouldn't break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is like that was like that, that already instilled that in me from the beginning. Yeah. And fast forward, then we we did our time in in Mount Airy, well, uptown area, and we moved to Norristown. Yeah. She wanted she wanted a new schooling system, a suburban type area. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, better schooling and environment. Uh, and we ended up going there. Uh, and I went there literally, knowing nobody had no family there. Wow. I was the new person on the block, new yeah. person in school. Yeah. Like I said, now I sound like a small community, kind of like country. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody knew each other, everybody yeah. knew with each other. I didn't know, I didn't have no relations with anybody. So, and but prior to that, I didn't even play sports. Mm. So my first sport team was in like when I was like 10, 11 was with the Norristown Bandits. Mm-hmm. I remember going there for the first day of practice. My mom was like, I don't know, I don't know if I asked to play or she put me in it. She was like, you gotta do something at this point. Because I had an older brother, I think he was doing things. I was like, all right, that's, I play football. Now, were, so. were you getting in trouble and stuff? Whereas she was like, all right, you got to get in the sports. Or uh, was you just, I mean, I like, always, I, I always was like, I could say I, I was the headache child. Yeah, because I was the middle child. I was headache. Uh, I, I didn't was go, too. I didn't go. I didn't go to the extreme of. I mean, I, I had friends who who did stupid things. I, I had a point in my my younger career where I did some stupid and, and had legal troubles and stuff like that. What kind of like changed my yeah my perspective of. To yeah. Not go a certain route because this is the, this is the uh, outcome. But uh, yeah, I think I uh, I don't know how I got into it. Like I said, it's kind of a little, little blur. But when I got into it, I remember I was an officer. They put me as an officer line. They don't know. They don't know who this kid's <laughs> brand is shipping there. They, just, they think I'm yeah, just somebody just coming yeah. down on time. Football. I'm a got me an officer line. I'm yeah. Toothpick. 
Two, yeah. T-bar too, right? Yeah, t- oh, yeah. How you know T-bar again? <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know about no uh, cages. Yeah, 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 and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No helmet mask, nothing like that. I was T-bar, cross yeah. eye, opposite line, man. I'm out there just- Three strikes down. Yeah, winging it, blocking, <laughs> pulling. He crazy. So it was like, I didn't know I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Yeah. I said, I, I won't say I was a late bloomer, but I was a late bloomer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so she, uh, well, not her, I mean, uh, so eventually they see that I was like pulling like as a guard fast. Yeah. Like, I was like, like, oh, we got some, she got some wheels on her. <laughs> nah, yeah. Imagine me like yeah. on like just with a T-bar pulling <laughs> fast, get, get to the block, get to the... To the defender, yeah. way before I mean, he get to the uh, the running back. He like, oh, he's faster than the running back. Yeah. So then he ended up switching me to uh, running back, try man, there, and I and that's literally yo, that's a crazy. That's story, literally man. how it, my true transition to football happened when I moved to uh, like a, a skill position running back. And nah, that's man. love, yo. That's love, bro. Like that transition from Philly to go to Norristown, bro. Like I know that was yeah. that was definitely different, bro. Like I used to get blessed with. You know, with my family situation, like, you know, I like we kind of grew up yeah. the same. And like my people, like my my pop and they people, they used to have like a little spot in uh uptown. Yeah. And like that was like my escape. Yeah. Like I was getting out of the hood. And when I was going yeah. up there, it was like it was different. Yeah. Like talk about like how like that transition from being in Philly yeah. to going out to Norristown to how that dynamic changed for you and yeah. how it really like it really helped change the trajectory yeah. of your life, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. So you know how like Philly is like like coming from any parts of Philly, you don't you don't have backyards. Yeah. Like, there's no backyards. It's all alleyways. Yeah. It's all alleyways and then house, then the street in the front. And when I got the nurse, I was like the first time I had like an actual like a backyard. Yo, that's tough. Yeah. Actually had like it was like I don't know it was a different type of landscape. Yeah. Like, here, like it's more a little more open. You know, Philly is tight. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, nurse town still had his. I mean, some had his. Philly-ish type vibes. They do. Type vibes. They do. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, yeah, so mm-hmm. they still had the corner stores, the poppy stores, everyone, Chinese stores and all that stuff yeah. there and there. But it's just, I mean, uh, more like, I would say different uh, ethnicities. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, it was a lot of like Sp- Span- Spanish yeah. and white. But it was more, it was definitely more diverse over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so that was different. Like I said, I went there, I literally had a new, new body. So I literally had to make my neighborhood we had to go out. I had to, we had to be outside on the yeah, block. I yeah. had to find friends and yeah. stuff like that. So that was kind of like a, a huge, just huge transition for me um, on that aspect. Just I mean, basically finding myself, finding my friends. Yeah. And uh, God bless me with an older brother, where I literally followed him around, like wherever he was going, I was. You was going. Like, I yeah. always grew up with older people. Like that's why, like I always say, like I, I was, I was kind of always ahead of the game with everything. Like, and growing up with him. Follow him everywhere he went. I just was hanging out with his friends. Yeah. Then once he was gone, I started trickling down to have making my own friends and being around them. But yeah, like I said, it's a huge. It's a like I said, it's not a huge Culture. difference. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm gonna say this. When I first got to Norristown, it was it's totally different than it is when I got to like high school. Like, yeah. I guess a lot of people from Philly started migrating there. Yeah. yeah. So the whole just the whole culture of Norristown like just changed. Period. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I said, I still, I mean, still, we still was going through the same thing. No, like, yeah, when bro. It came, when it came to welfare. And yeah, struggling, trying to make struggling. it, yeah. Like I said, mom, literally been single mom, three kids the, the entire time. Yeah, bro. Do you think you going to Norristown and being in a more diverse situation helped you in college? Because for me, you know, I went to PW. Yeah. And, you know, it's diverse, but it's mostly yeah. white, whatever. Yeah. And a lot of my friends from the city in college, they never saw, been around a lot of white people. Yeah, yeah. So like, they don't know how to interact with them. Yeah. yeah. And one thing about you, I've been around you a lot. You knew, even though you're from the city, but you knew how to, yeah. you know, remove her in different rooms. Mm-hmm. So like, do you think that helped you? Oh yeah, for sure, right? for sure. Yeah, like I said, you you are you become the product of the environment. Like, if you yeah. are, if you are around an environment where you have different cultures, if this is around, you're gonna learn how to pick up on on different ways to. Approach different people, different things. And, yeah, and 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 also I I had people around me, my mom that still and still sensing to me. Like yeah, I wasn't right, like right. I mean like she was like you may you still represent yourself the right way and right. stuff like that. And 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 but I did have my struggles as in like behavior issues. Like I was at times where yeah. I was 
became like a class clown, but I always yeah. was a smart kid. Smart I, I never, kid. I never, I never, I, I, never, no I, never I tested boundaries. I never yeah. took it to the extreme where I'm just a loose cannon. I'm just like a wild, a wild young kid. But I definitely had my struggles when it came to school and, like I said, a little legal issue when I was younger, doing something stupid with my friends. Um, but outside of that, yeah, like I said, that helped a lot. Being around them, having classmates, you creating even with do sports, you hanging yeah. out with you mean some mm-hmm. of your, your your teammates that's from different places. And yeah, you just you going to they they houses right and the in the, uh, in the cul de sacs and you hanging out with your yeah. family. And so you definitely pick up on different different uh, ways of communicating and and stuff like that. Then still into your own character. And how you- now let's talk about the high, right? Let's talk about because I know. You didn't always have, like you said, you, you went through your ups and downs yeah. as a, not just a student, but as an athlete yeah. too. Yeah. So can you just talk about your process in high school where, you know, you was messing up, then something snapped oh, and, yeah. you know what I mean? You got mm-hmm. to that next level where you got that first offer yeah. at Temple. Okay, yeah. So the the time that the, my my switch got flipped. And that's for the young boys out there. Yes, please, the listen up. Come on. The time I... My switch got flipped was my junior year after the football season. Prior to that, I like I was always talented. I was always good. I had the I had the luxury of still playing, but half ass and coming like I was. They my, I will never forget my shout out to Sheldon Mary. He always be like, "What's up? Be skip because I literally would skip every Monday and not go to practice. And this on a varsity level, like I would skip I would skip every Monday and not go to practice." But I wasn't. I wasn't getting penalized. Well, I was getting. I wasn't getting penalized because I was so talented. They needed me to play, mm. and I kept that that type of that type of I don't know like mindset. Mindset. Yeah. So it was like, I mean, if I could do that, if I could do it with this. I can. I'm just gonna do what I want. So then that translated just to school period. Like, I mean, I wasn't failing. I wasn't. But I still had my issues where I be a class clown and yeah. maybe just do something to get kicked out of class or whatever. Or something, just some some just dumb stuff. To like I said, it might be too cool and, and just and stuff like that. Just yeah. I mean, hanging around with different people and that's just the type of people we were at the time. So my junior year after my football season, I had a good junior year. Um that's when the first time I really had like a legit starter film. Like before that, I played a lot. I was I was behind like a, a great uh great Narstown legend, Sheldon Mayor running back. So I had to wait my turn. Mm. But I still got my reps in defense, still made plays. Yeah. But when I actually my junior year uh came uh, I still had them issues at the beginning. I had a time, I, I people know this story, uh, they was trying to start uh, some guy over me that I knew I was better than. So mm. like my ego got in. We talked about this. Uh, uh, I, I mean, some people might know his name. but uh, Yeah, yeah, you don't got to say his name. name but yeah, yeah, I don't want to no, get to that. Good. But, yeah, so they ended up starting, I, like I said, I don't want to call it politics, but they ended up starting uh, a guy over me that, Everybody knew he shouldn't have started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I got real rebellious. Remember, I think I remember talking transferring to PW. Yeah, like I that. remember that. Yeah. I'm like, man, so at one practice, I'm like, I'm tired. I said, I'm, I had enough of this. I took, I remember I took my shoes off in the middle of Kent, took my shoes off, mm-hmm. sat there and like boycotted the rest of the practice. Like, on some, like I'm not practicing. I'm ready That's to go. crazy. And then, uh, then I remember when the coach came and talked to me, it was like, man, we know you should be blah blah z blah playing. Just just don't you mean just don't don't let this break you. Remember I was I remember I was calling Kenny. I think my yeah. talk, talking to Ron Dobbs yeah. too about I said, I'm about to be out of here, man. I ain't got two years left. Ain't about to play with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, type situation. So end up just uh I don't forgot what coach it was. He ended up talking to me. Might have been Marquise Week. Shout out to him. Uh, he was a former league player, Seahawks running back. Talking to him, he was like, man, ship just just dug it out, man. It's, it's going time gonna come. So after the first game. We played, no, we played the first game, Northeast High School. And it's like Deion Barnes and them. Um, mm-hmm. And the running back who was starting at the time, he couldn't do nothing. So when I got in, I remember I broke for a touchdown. It was curtains. And then I was wrapped. Got my spot back. Then my junior year. Curtains. Balled out until the second to last game. We played them. Mm. We played them. Um and it was like a, it was a big game. I remember it was a big game, huge yeah. game. The whole talk and talk the whole week, whole Narstown, whole there. week. Because that was supposed to be the last game at the vault. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah for that season. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, big game. We playing against people we know, we grew up with yeah. all the time. Uh, and then rocking. First half, I was balling. Draw. Like, I'm talking. About I was balling. Probably had like hundred some yards, two touchdowns. We blowing them out, twenty one, probably zero or something like that. Twenty one seven. Twenty one seven. 
And I came back first play after the first after the half, mm. and I dislocated my hip. Wow! Literally, like the like the first play at coming out of halftime, dislocated my hip. I thought I was done. Yeah, the whole. I mean, I can never forget the whole state on this. Like the manager, this whole the Velt is a a big high school stadium in up north. Everything was packed. The whole both cities was there. It was popping. So I could hear it just silence. So it was cold silent, out there. Bro. It was crazy, bro. I'm on the ground for like 30 minutes screaming. Screaming. No, that, bro. They, they watching me. Like, man, just sitting in the cold, waiting around, and just sitting around. I'm screaming, watching somebody on the ground screaming. They had to bring an ambulance on the, onto the field. Uh, they shooting morphine on me on the field. They had yeah. to cut something off on the field. Mind you, it's freezing out there. Middle of a game. End up... Uh, Taking me back to the hospital, um, knocking me out, doing a surgery. Never forget, I woke up. Like it hit me. I was crying. I was like, I was sobbing there. But when it hit me, when I woke up out of surgery, one, I was sad that we, we ended up losing 27 21. So we was up 21 7 before I got hurt. When I woke up from my surgery in the morning time, we I saw that we, we saw we lost. I was hurt at that. Damn. Then it's like, my career might be over. Like my whole leg is. Can't move it. Like, you know, your legs is everything to you. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I'll never forget. And I had a, a PT doctor in that time. I was like, man, that's probably a wrap. I got one year left. I can't run outdoor track this year. Damn. Can't do nothing. So I was like, man, let me. So I made a decision to just say, man, this is my, this is my last one. It's my, yeah. this is my yeah, last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just going to go all in. Whatever happens, happens. Just know I'm going to put the effort in. To just make myself bounce back. Yeah. And the crazy thing is that I went so I went so hard in my in my recovery and my in my PT and my um rehab that I was able to run outdoor track eventually. So mind you I had to dislocate a hip in yeah, November. And still and came back to run in April ish. Yeah. So like I said, that that was nothing but God and mm -hmm. will and <clears throat> and power to to be able to bring me back. To that and after that and I was able to come back I had a conversation with my coaches this this is really where like I, I still was in school yeah messing around I wasn't yeah. really all the way locked on that because like I said college was kind of like with division one level was kind of like far I, 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 I didn't it wasn't really a team yeah because yeah. yeah. I, I didn't really see it that's real you life know, you get yeah. me so I yeah. didn't really I didn't really it wasn't like I didn't care for it but it wasn't really yeah I didn't yeah. see it so I wasn't really in tune of I, I, I didn't have nobody to really tell me Growing up, tell me like how Kenny got his nephews. Now I got my yeah. nieces and nephews and yeah. cousins that's younger than me. I could tell them whatever young yeah. guys. You could tell them the game. Now I didn't. Have, I really didn't have that. Like I yeah, said, we come from either, a yeah. place where people didn't really do nothing at the high school. Nah, like, for facts, real. Facts, though. So I didn't that's really. Real, so that's real like, life. yeah. So I didn't. So, so it was kind of scary to yeah. even think further past. Yeah. So yeah. I'm already brought me in the office. It was like, man, shit, you gotta. I mean, I think I got. I think I got sent to like ISS, like a little like in school yeah. suspension. And, yeah. It was like shit. Yo, do you understand? Like your, your chance you got. Like you playing around. Like you got great film. That just college is calling us. Like, but I didn't notice. I'm like, for real. Like, listen, you gonna have to wherever you hang around with, whoever you ever doing, you gonna shut it down now. Because mm. because it's gonna be a chance. You got one year left. So I'm like, all right, bet. So that kind of was like the first switch. Yeah. And then the summertime, I think that off season where we started doing the seven oh seven with Coach Abe. Shout out to Coach Abe. Thank uh, you. Oh, yeah, and Key, shout yeah. out to Key, too. Key, Key and Coach 80 brought me into the 717. Yeah. Uh, that's when it first started, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 707. That's when the 717 And that's when you, started. that's when, that's when it really started. Like, yeah, so I had like, that's when I had like my first like mentor. Like, yeah. Coach yeah, yeah, Key, yeah, like, yeah, my yeah, first, yeah. like yeah. mentor where they really poured into you. Poured and knew yeah. how to, how this goes. And that's uh, love, man. And I'll never forget summertime, Coach A took me to the Temple Camp. I didn't have no money. I didn't have nothing. He Dang. paid for my, my, my fee and everything. And I went there and balled out, and they offered me right on the spot. That was, <laughs> that was, that was that's, that's crazy. How that, that's how that situation. In my senior year, it was just, it was a wreck. I, it was, I couldn't be touched. <laughs> Man, you, you you hear a story like that, and you just be like, you think about your own, you think about where you from, you think about where you came, and you just like. Bro, it's hard, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the 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 moral of all of this is learning from all of your mistakes. Yes. Yeah. You know, learning about yourself. And we talk about this, man. Like, when we talk about the process of life, man, you're going to go through all these different stages in your life before you become who you supposed to become. Yeah. So, like, like Ship said, man, like, he had points in his life where, like, it was just, like, it didn't click. 
certain things had to happen for him mm -hmm. to see it, bro. And it's just like I feel like we all have been experience. We all had experience mm -hmm. in that way where it's something that triggered us to make mm -hmm. us like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I need to wake up and yeah. see what I'm really capable of doing. Right. And like, bro, like it takes a strong mind to be able to be like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to do what everybody else doing. Yeah. I'm a vibe with what I, what I know I'm good at. Not yeah. follow I forget who Joe, the camera was on a, like a, a yeah, month a ago. Of, he yeah. said, mm -hmm. do what you're good yeah, at yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because like a lot of us, there's a lot of kids out there right now, right? It's things that you're good at, yep. but you haven't really tapped in mm -hmm. mentally. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like, bro, when you hear a story like this, bro, like he really, Changed cities, went to a whole different place, found himself, was behind somebody, thought he was better, figured out a way to really get in front. Mm -hmm. And then the mm -hmm. adversity came by him hurt, getting hurt. Mm -hmm. yep. And then, bro, wound up getting a Division One offer. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, bro, like that's what it, that, like, that's what it takes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, like, when you think about it, bro, like, bro, like, we're going to get to this college thing, bro. You mm -hmm. really is Temple Tough, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. Like, I want you to really talk about – like, bro, I never really had the experience to go to a camp. Yeah. I never really had the experience to, like, really be exposed to nothing like that. And, bro, yeah. you got – like, that's a blessing, bro. Yeah. Like, if you are a mentor, if you are mm. somebody who is a coach, somebody who is inspiring people, Showtime Speaks, yeah. bro, like, keep pouring into these kids, bro, because it Seriously. just might be your voice, yeah. a situation. It may be something that might motivate this one kid to change his whole life, bro. Mm. Talk to him, And, G. like, bro, like, when you really look at – the big picture, mm -hmm. it takes one thing mm -hmm. to really change your whole life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And bro, like I really want you to talk about that division one experience, bro. Like, bro, mm -hmm. I I want to like just give a whole breakdown, bro, because yeah. I never lived that life. <laughs> and yeah. and, and I you, wish I could. And when you talk temple tough, my gosh, they, bro. In their era, yeah. Like, even that was a different even vibe. two weeks ago when we was working out, yeah. Me and him, HR. It was just talking about stories. Yeah. You know? Talk we wanna, about we it, man. Hear about it, bro. Please, yeah. bro. So, you know, coming out of high school, like, I, I didn't have the exposure because, I, again, I didn't know nothing about none of that. Yeah. So I didn't have a, I didn't have a mentor to, or somebody who actually really been there or been in that stage where they, you know, no, no, no. When I got there, I forgot people was going to different camps. They was going yeah. to travel. I, I only went to one camp. Yeah. And I committed. And because I knew... It's about to change my life. As yeah. a, my mom got paid for school. That's love, I'm not about to man. play around. I don't know nothing about none of this crew yeah. situation. I'm not about to play around. Yeah, hold on this offer. Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm, I need this. I need this full scholarship to, from my mom to not have to pay for school. Man, that's love. Man. So it was like that's how I ended up just completely committing to Temple. You never looked at no other no school. school because I didn't. I didn't go to no other camps. I might got letters, but I didn't do because I didn't know nothing. I didn't have a, even yeah. a support. I would say the support. I didn't have a support, but yeah. my support system didn't know nothing about it. Like my yeah. dad didn't know. Yeah. About the, he wasn't no sports dad. My yeah. mom was no sports mom. Yeah. So they didn't know to take Brandon to a Same. camp. Yeah. Like I, didn't, I didn't have none of that. Same. It was just I literally was just figuring out just by playing ball and Same. being with my teammates stuff like that. So when I got to the Temple, like I said, I was I think I've been a three star just on my athleticism, my film. And they, and uh, and I was and I committed early. I was like a junior. I was like an early commit. Mm. So, so that was like I was like, oh, he committed as a junior. And that's that's good. So when I got there, like I said, yeah, Temple Tough is real. Like, like you really like Talk you about really got you man. really got to be you really got to be built different to last in that era back then. Mm. Like I said, we Temple Tough is Temple is literally in the middle of North Philadelphia. Real rap, Broad Street. Mm -hmm. Nothing paradise about it. There's no palm trees. Yeah. There's no sands next door. There's no hmm. all around year good weather. Mm -hmm. You literally practicing next to the North Philly neighborhood. North mm -hmm. Philly walking to campus through the North Philly neighborhood. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's one of the most impoverished and places in Philadelphia. Yeah, man. But uh, so I mean, I remember the coaches always say to us, it was like, we're gonna have to work harder than these other people. That's what it is. We 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 have we we're not blessed to to have the facilities and yeah. uh, the resources that these big, big, big five schools uh, have, uh, so we're gonna have we're gonna have to work harder. This is what it is. You mm -hmm. want to work work harder, and, I, and he always told us, just because you're big, don't mean you're bad. Just because mm -hmm. you you're gifted, don't mean you're great. Mm -hmm. So as long as you outwork, I said outwork means work always beat talent. So mm -hmm. that was really like the 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 moral of of. Everything we did, whether it's in school, weight room, like we we went through the most probably cruciating workouts, and it was like, yo, talk this about is, it, yo, this like, yo, this is this can't be. Like, <laughs> what's, what's the craziest workout? 
Because <laughs> you remember Duke came on and told yeah. us some, yeah, we had him doing yeah. conditioning. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Was like, it's crazy, bro. It, it's, it's, it's to the, it was it was so crazy for so long a period of time that it's like, I try to like block it out. Like, it's like, <laughs> That's how like, you know it's like, if you talk to HR, he'll tell you like, it, it was like, I'm talking about, we pushing, like I'm talking about 15 degree weather, jumping in the snow, we pushing plates, we pushing, waking up at 5 a.m., we we moving weight leg press where you can't even walk no more. Like it's it's just like the workouts was made to push you past what you think you could do. So yeah. you're literally every workout you're you're going into exhaustion. Also with discipline. Mm. So if you come in with your shoes untied, hundred up downs for everybody. No way. You come in and chewing gum, hundred up downs for everybody. Like it's just, it was like discipline involved. Yeah. The workouts was crazy. Like it was just like you had. I mean. At the time, you didn't understand it. Yeah. Because it was like, man, this is, there's no way this is Division One. Like, ain't no way we got it. I'm small. You can't even, yeah. like, you can't even go hang, you can't even go hang with your, your girlfriend, like, for a workout. Because yeah, yeah. you don't know you're going to be, yeah. probably nah, kick out the workout real. and have to wake up at 5 a.m. to do another workout. That's yeah. crazy. So it was like, it was, it was that, it was that, it was that type of level of, 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 uh, intense full experience, experiences. Yeah. And then when, as in, um, and like, my first couple of years, we struggled. Like it, it was literally a process. Rule came. Yeah, talk uh, about my that. My first year was a Dazio, Steve Dazio. He ended up going to Boston College. Your yeah, first six. year, you was a DB too. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I, oh yeah. So yeah. I, um, running back, all me in high school, I played both sides, of, both sides of the ball. But yeah. I was mainly an offensive guy. I got recruited for a defensive back, a cornerback. That's crazy. So when I got there, I was strictly a cornerback. Offense was no more. It was straight defense. Straight, straight defense. defense. So that kind of was like new to me too. So that process even. Learning how to be a true corner and yeah. taking that as my main craft was 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 one uh, adversity and also like I said coming into an environment of you have to come hard every day whether yeah. it's working out or you going to be look like a yeah you ain't supposed to be there yeah right. and the way the, the way the system is set up is where they want to weed the people who who don't yeah who, who don't, shouldn't be who there shouldn't be yeah. there out of there yeah that's crazy. So, and Steve Adazio was there, like I said, my first per person recruited me ended up leaving the same year, I, same season I came in. Yeah. Went to Boston College, then Matt Roll came in, which recruited me. But that year he, I came in, he ended up having, having a job at the Giants. So he ended up coming back, taking the head coach job. And when he came back. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to Matt Rule. Yeah, that's Coach Rule. He put us through some sugar honey iced tea. Yeah, literally, <laughs> like... Real rap. It was it was like and and like and it, and you and you seen like he would talk about the process and what he was going to do and why he doing it, but yeah. you really couldn't understand. And he and he he really weeded out the people who wasn't part of that standard. Yeah, yeah he, it's what it was. The workouts really workouts, the discipline, the school. And I'm talking about you had to be in front of the front two rows of this classroom, or you got a five a.m. workout. They can come around checking the classroom. You not <laughs> you got a head on in front of the classroom. You're not sitting in the front two rows if you sleep. Five even wearing a strain and that really would mess the rest of your week up. Damn. So it was like he, so it was like you had to carry on a jug. You, if you if you wasn't caught without a jug, five even workout. Wow, that's wild. So it was stuff that's like it was stuff like that that, that, that it was like crazy, yo, this bro. no way. Like you know, what I mean, it's like yo, yeah. this is not. They teach you how to be men. It's like, yeah, but at the time you you in it, so you're not really understanding. And he was telling, it was like, man, listen, you don't want to be here, go. Right. He'll tell you, but you want to be here, go. He'd be like, I got signing papers. He'd be like, shit, you want to go to Westchester? You want to go? Uh, you your last name is Shipping? You want to go to Shippensburg? <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, he used to play like, he used to no like, way, yo. Yo, he used to like, he used to, he used to, he used to, he used to get at the air, yeah. like, like, you feel me? Nah, for real. And like I said, at one point, me and him did bang heads, because uh, like I said, he, he seen, as I got older and, and talked to him when I got older, when I was transitioning to the league, I understood what he was trying to do. Yeah, he, he, seen, he seen the potential in, in people. Before they see it in themselves. So he's trying to pull it out you, yeah, as best bro. he can, no matter what he got, if he got to yeah. humiliate you, he got to, Whatever you gotta do, yeah. you gotta threaten you, because he see it. But at the time, I sophomore sophomore year, I was just more like national. I'm like, man, all right. that's that's who I am. I'm kind of like a laid back guy. I'm not a hoorah guy. Yeah, I'm not really the type of guy. So I always was like laid back. I'm, I'm real. Like, I hear you. I take care of my business. I'm not like I said. I don't. I'm not really a, a rebellious type person. But I guess just my level. He wanted me to be at. Where you think I should be at wasn't there, so it always was like a little head bang. Yeah. Then fast forward to my uh, 
You want to take a break before I answer? It's a long process. Nah, like junior, I got, just go. Yeah, oh, all right, here we go. I'm rambling. Yeah, I'm nah, rambling. I'm nah, you rambling. Really, nah, I don't know what you got in between. It's just a thing. It's your story, my brother. And you talking, bro. Like, this this, this, this your time, bro. Like, this for you. Like, for real, for real. So, yeah, my sophomore year, we end up being like two and ten. But we lost like a lot of games by like last second games. It was literally like... We lost probably like four or five games of like thirty seconds or something like that. Like overall, so we all we was like he seen we was there, but we we just wasn't we just wasn't over the hump yet. So then, uh, my end of my sophomore year, we was two and ten. We wasn't going to no bowl game. He had did like, Roy had did like this little like experiment one day. Mm. He made a practice. He made everybody who played defense play offense. He made everybody who played offense play defense for a practice. So everybody, but everybody thinks it's some fun stuff. Like, oh, all right, so I'm yeah. going. So I'm at a corner. All the corners playing receiver for the day. All the corner, all the receivers playing corner for the day. All the linebackers playing tight end, tight end playing linebackers. Running, uh, what else? D lineman playing O line, O line playing yeah. D line. Literally was a pure experiment. So I'm at, I'm at receiver and cooking, cooking. <laughs> I'm cooking them. You know, I'm yeah. always been an office guy in high school. Yeah, that yeah, always, yeah. always was what I was. So I'm, I'm doing my thing, having a blast. Not knowing, you come back from winter break. They switch your whole. He switched a lot of people. Well, he well he kind of offered me. He was like, "Shit, man, we 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 lost a guy, a big guy, like a big name guy here. We don't really have no skill position in that area. And, and you know, we we see you what you did in high school and what you capable of doing at this level. Even with the experiment I did, uh, would you have any have any interest in change playing the same position for spring ball?" Like you don't have to. There's no pressure. Like I, we just see that this gives, might give you opportunity to, I mean, start and and, and make plays for us. Because like I said, our D room kind of still was heavy. I, yeah. I was though definitely going to play. I was going. I was going to fight for my spot. Spot. Position. Yeah. Like Tavon Young. Shout out to Tavon Young. Um, he was our solidified at corner. Yeah. Right? So yeah. Kind So the other spot was was bad on. He was like, so why would you? So do you want to go over here receiver and make plays start for everybody? Yeah. So I was like, I tried out. So, but if you feel like you don't need it, if you don't want to do it, you can always go back. So then spring ball came, I'm a receiver and ended up balling out, ended up getting to start position. Then season came, my first catch ever in college football was for a touchdown. Wow. Vanderbilt. Yeah. So, Vandy. That's so, tough, yo. Yeah, that's SEC score in front of the whole nation. Oh, yeah. Remember the Thursday night game? Might have been like one of the first games of college football that season. And my that, first catch ever. And that's where the receiver it, came yeah, alive. And, it and I took it to the house. I guess an SEC school. That's love, so. man. Like, if you really think about it, man, if you really, bro, a lot of kids, man, and there's a lot of kids in this transition phase of trying to figure out, you know, where they belong, where they want to yeah. be, how they want to do it. And sometimes it might be a position change that might help Get your you trajectory know. to get you to where you're really trying to go. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us be fighting against what we believe yeah. in ourselves, and mm -hmm. we can't let it go. I want you to really talk about how you let that that guard down mm -hmm. to even step into that role, bro. Yeah. Because yeah, you came in as a you came in as one thing, but you had to transition throughout the phase to something else. Like talk about that transition phase on how you had to go from DB to receiver, yeah. bro. Like the mindset change. Yeah, it, it, like I said, they, they literally two opposite, two opposite positions. They literally are positions who has to go each other, against each other 90% of the time. On yeah. The field. Uh, so it helped me out a lot just by playing DB and knowing how defenses and coverage is and all that uh, play a part uh, of me knowing my knowledge as a, as a receiver. Like I can, yeah. I can easily pinpoint what they in because I, I, I Played in at a high level. Like I said, my sophomore year, I, I played good. I had good film at DB. Yeah, I made plays, and so uh, I definitely had experience with with that side of the ball, which helped me uh, transition the receiver as and just on the, on the mental aspect. No, yeah, yeah. and the toughness aspect. Like yeah, I, said, yeah. I, I was I was a receiver who I, I can come down and block. No, I, I saw Leah because you was a tackler. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. A, I was oh, a yeah. defensive defender, so I'm coming down and block, coming downhill. So I always had them. I still had them intangibles. Yeah, I was aggressive with the ball running. Like it wasn't no. It wasn't really no swiftness, as in like yeah, running from them. But I was, I was, I was here for all that because I came from a barbaric position. Nah, really a pure athlete. Yeah, so it was. Uh, like I said the only thing that really was really um, difficult at the time was just you literally got to change your feet. One, one, one position you're going backwards, other position you're going forward, and yeah. learning how to break with your feet. And yeah. Then, Catch the ball with it too. You no, know, they say DBs can't catch, so that's why they play DBs. So yeah, I had to yeah. get over that hump, learn how to catch better. Uh, stuff like that, and like I said, I was always an athlete, so I was always able to 
Yeah. Just in that aspect. No, but, yeah. Nah, but you had a yeah, you had yeah. to come. You had like I said, offense. I'm sorry to cut nah, you off. Offense, as an offensive player, you really have to be up here because like learning plays, remembering plays, like knowing different systems mm -hmm. and lineups is, is not yeah. the same as DB. No, like, you gotta learn. You gotta learn a lot yeah. more. And yeah. at the time, no huddle, you gotta know hand signs. Yep. It's so much involved as an office office position. Yeah. That I had to that had that that's one thing that I had to adjust to quick because yeah, yeah. offense come 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 in a lot as as the on a mental part for sure. Do you think that helped you? But cause you played both in high school too. Mm -hmm. So like what's your advice for the young bulls right now? I be trying to tell Lean yeah. right now, right? Everybody wanna play offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you always be telling me like, nah, that young bull should be playing both sides of the ball. And crazy, I just talked to my uh, my friend Damir uh, Shaw yesterday about that because me and uh, Haas had a little debate about about stuff like that. And, yeah, and it was saying like young players come out of high school who play both sides of the ball show that you more of a team player, mm -hmm. you more uh, you show that you're an athlete. Like I said, it's not recruiting and, and next level is not all, always about what you can do in the field. It's about just your character in general. Right. I mean, we can show that you can play both sides of the ball. You now you're more versatile. Now you're more valuable to the team. The team. Mm -hmm. So it's like you get more opportunities that way. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, you just you just you just move your leverage a little higher. You get a little more advantage playing both sides of the, both sides of the ball. It is players who have been successful playing one side of the ball, which is which is uh cool, but I always encourage people to just to play both sides of the ball and just see you might you might you might, you might like the both sides, I mean other side of the ball. And I say when it comes to next level Whatever they see you as is what you're gonna go as. So it's like if you if you wanna be like I said, I was granted the granted the uh the luxury of playing both sides of the both sides of the ball in high school and college, that which helped me in my process going to uh to the NFL because I didn't have all the all the stats in the world. Yeah. But they see my athleticism, I was able to Yeah. Yeah, you know, I want you to definitely I want you to I want you to touch on that. Like, you know, transitioning from college to playing the pros, yeah. like do you wish that you could have changed something and made something different? Like, would have been like, all right, I wish I would have been a receiver straight along so I could have came into the NFL and it could have been a much smoother transition? Or do you want to, or do you want to like, all right, I'm going to stick to, I feel like because I was an athlete, it really did help me. Like, yeah. if you can go back in time, would you change something? Uh, yeah, in a perfect world, I would. But, like, I always look at things like my journey, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Uh, but in perfect world, I mean, of course, I would want to be at the college level. I would want to have stayed at one position the whole time, so I yeah. can really be developed, really have the trust of coaches, yeah. and really be able to make more plays, have more film in that position. By me splitting my years up, I didn't have really too much film in each one because it was split up. Yeah, and uh, so my production wasn't as high as it could be. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They when you getting uh, looked at, at any level, your production is one part of the process. Your character. How you look and stuff like that, like the eye test and all that's involved. Yeah, my production wasn't as high because it was a split type of career. Yeah, and, uh, like I say, in the perfect world, it probably would be that just no. whether it's DB the, or receiver, receiver like just like having just yeah. having the four yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah, 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 yeah. And also, I wish I redshirted, it, but I didn't. Yeah, the true thing. I tell people like, don't. Yeah, it's no rush to go out there to play. Your freshman year, if you don't, if you're not ready, you have to. Reshiring is always yeah. Know, so it's a positive side and a negative, negative side. side. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's a double edged sword. So mm -hmm. like I said, I end up. I feel like my college career was like this. I feel like if I was staying another year, I'd have been my rookie year talented. I would, but I've been a senior high yeah, in college. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, it would have yeah, been. Yeah, a, yeah, it would have yeah, been a whole other yeah, ball game yeah, right, coming right, out. You feel right. me? So, but like I said, I always look at it as in my journey. My journey, everything happened for a reason. I still got my foot to where I needed to get it. How do you feel about redshirting though? Like, do you feel like, you know, it's needed? I, I don't live in that world. So, like, it's kids out there that's trying to figure it out. And if they yeah. don't figure it out, do you, how does that whole process of getting reassured, how does that so, work? So, I, I was reassured. So, for real? Yeah, I was reassured, for sure. At so, Cuttown? Yeah, so, but, uh, Westchester, Westchester first. first yeah. Westchester, okay. But basically, you just go through a, a year to mature. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. like, sometimes you're not, again, if that position stacked, it gives yeah. you a time to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives you a time to, you know, get accustomed to the college. Now, do they like, come up to you and tell you that you're going to wear a shirt? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. They let you know. Yeah. Okay. But also, you got some guys that may be like ship or like you coming in where like, all right, he can help our team right now. Right now, yeah. So like, I think it just all depends. But 
I don't know if it should be a decision, our decision or not, but I mean, you know, know what I mean? It can't be. I mean, at the yeah. end of the day, the coaches are they the make ones. The, they, they make decisions. decisions. Yeah, you can't okay. make decisions. Yeah. They're going to evaluate you. They're going to see what's going on. Yeah. But at the time, like I said, I was, remember, I'll never forget my freshman year. I'm like, man, I'm traveling as a freshman. Like, yeah. you think that's, you think all that's. All the gear. All the gear. Y'all home. Y'all still, y'all still got, y'all got to stay home doing these workouts while we out flying to so and so. And it's like, so at that point, but my freshman year, I, I, the only reason why I'm saying is that I let that comfortability and, and high not realize me just getting put out there for dummy reps into yeah. end of the game that has, has no productive yeah. thing for me. I'm really literally just wasting my, my freshman year just with kickoff, getting mm -hmm. touchbacks, and end of the game when they kneeling the ball. So it was literally a waste of a year I could have. Probably and develop more. Develop yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Give me another year. Do yeah. you know what I mean? So that's the only thing that I I yeah. was kind of like blinded by because of, oh, I'm a freshman traveling. Like, that's, that's, that's I feel mm -hmm. like that guy. Right. You feel me? A lot, of, a lot of freshmen didn't travel. Yeah. And I always tell people, like, don't be in a rush to play mm. and burn that year mm. if you're not ready. If you're not be ready to play out there, you, and, yeah. if, and you getting them reps in, you getting them, Take it. them plays, yeah, do it. But if it's like you in the middle where you not really don't know, really know your role, if you have the choice, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you definitely should evaluate it a little more, a little more closely. Yeah. Nowadays, though, which I here's a topic: which I to think about kids like getting reclassified and all that type of stuff. Like that's that's what that's the new that's, thing that's, right that's now. That's part of it. I mean, that's, that's, yeah, that's part that's, of yeah. Like that is that's, that's, really, that's, that's crazy, saying, man. That's I, I mean, saying. listen, I always I always look at it as like, man, you get it how however you need to get it. I mean, yeah. like I said, they, these college coaches, they, they know what you're doing. Yeah. So if you feel like that's what you need to do to, I mean, give yourself the best opportunity to get what you need to get to. And I think that's what, that's what the world took it to, man. COVID kind of like yeah, COVID, yeah, it, it, it it really put our yeah. world into a devastation yeah, where. You know, a lot of these parents feel like, hold on, like I feel like my kid deserves another year or two more years or mm -hmm. whatever. Or, bro, and I think it can benefit a lot of these kids, yeah, man. For sure. Like if you reclassify and, and it, like you said, if it benefits, you know, now you might be in a grade that's higher and you might be looking better. But for for you should have been, been out, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's another. Yeah, that's so another. it's like it's one of those double edged yeah, sword things literally. too. Like being able to, too. you know, it's hard, right? It's maturity. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot but, of my. Lacrosse young boys, yeah, they'll right. do like another year or yeah, yeah, just to mature. Yeah, mature. Like yeah, that, so. I mean, I said whatever's. They say everything get better sense. with time, man. And if you can yeah. do that, man, if you got the opportunity, man, yeah. to put yourself in a better situation, I think you should go for it. Yeah, all I'm saying, yeah, all I would say, all I would say just weigh all your options. That's yeah, all, that's all I'm yeah, saying. Just looking at the, looking at what you want to do and how you want to do it, and just weigh them options. And if you feel like, yeah, just just do it with no regrets. Like, just if you go and do it. You're doing and knowing you're not going to regret what you did. Yeah, man. Let's talk about, I mean, like, I know we've been deep into this right now, but I really want to hone in on, like, yo, man, y'all school produced a lot of NFL players, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially around my area. Yeah, like, we definitely. We pushed a lot. Talk about like, that, even, bro. Like, yeah, we pushed a lot of players and a lot of more, a lot more players in these big five Yeah, schools, man. Besides, like, the Bamas and LSUs. But outside of that. We sent a lot of more. It's a long in the list of yeah, a lot of more Temple, active players tough. in the league. Yeah, yeah bro. A lot of like Missouri or somewhere like that. We we pushed a lot of people, and that's because of people who who was committed to the process, who mm. who 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 showed you that hard work beats talent. Mm. Just because you was big and you went to the biscuit don't mean you bad. Yeah, you got, mm. Talk that talk. Was man. Gifted in high school, you got to the biscuit don't mean you great. Or you want to be great. Talk yeah. that talk. So Shit. you saw. So you just saw how you I mean when we got to the next level. You say like these guys is normal. Like they just nah, real right. ain't nothing different. We, I was we work hard. You could tell. Like you mean you just you just see the, the difference in that and and talking to scouts and teams. Like they love Timber guys because they know For they're sure. gonna come in and work. Yeah. No prima donnas. Mm -hmm. They gonna grit. They be athletes. We make plays. We 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 for the team. And that's why a lot of so we push a lot of draft picks out. Nah, for real, rounders, man. That Philly energy second, different, man. Second rounders, third yeah. rounders, fourth mm -hmm. rounders, all the all the rounders, bunch of priority, a bunch of people in the league. Like there's a bunch of Temple guys in the league because of how we was built. No, nah, yeah, how man. we was developed. That's love, man. I never got my chance to. 
I ain't never get no offer from uh from Temple, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah, no, nah, I was not. I'm the, <laughs> and with she, and with she, his, his journey is a rare, respectable yeah, yeah. journey. You, yeah, like I crazy. said, I always tell people like, just because you go to Division One, like I said, if you if you got the talent, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna find gonna you. Find this you. is what it is. Like you just, yeah. if it come to you, how you gonna put your work in? How you gonna get the exposure? How you gonna expose you? You don't have the, you don't have the support system. Well, you better find it if you, yeah. if you really want it. Yeah, man, you gonna you gonna find it. Was that, definitely, man. To be honest, it was definitely hard though, man. Yeah, it's like, tough. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, like seeing like everybody go D one, bro, and, yeah. and and living that life and free clothes and nah, I used to hear yeah. about they used to get like game systems and all types uh, of crazy games like bro bowl yeah. games and man we ain't had none of that, none of that. at Division three football you pay to play basically <laughs> same, all right same D two bro D two too shit, they, get, they shit. do give out partial scholarships though too no I had a little scholarship yeah ship used to give me uh. Gloves. Yeah. yeah, I used to get the hookups. That's love, man. There. Yeah. That's tough, yo. Yeah, no, yeah. Sure. That's having that connection, man. It's definitely, crazy. Definitely look out for my guys. For yeah. Sure, for yeah. Sure. Let's take it to the pro career, man. Let's talk about the draft process and entering into that process. Like, you know, it was different. You know, yeah. you, you know, you went undrafted. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about that experience, man. So uh, I'll never forget. Uh, so the whole process in college, I never even knew I was being scouted or I even had a shot because previous, like my mindset, because previous. Previously to me, I seen guys who had so much production, did this and did that, way more than me, and did not get a chance. I'm like, what the way it's looking, I'm not saying I was I, mean, I was making plays doing, but I was like, Lee kind of like far fetched. But mm. I'm still gonna come grind every day. My yeah, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try my best to be the best I can be and control what I can control. But still in the back of my mind, I'm like, because I don't you know, also like Rose is the type of guy, he didn't want nobody to know nothing about no league. Cause he went he, he didn't want nobody to even for real, he didn't want nobody like doing it. He didn't for want, them to go to their head. He go to their head, so it was like you really didn't, didn't know, know. So the first time I found out that I was like highly scouted was at the bowl game, and it, and it kind of slipped out at the bowl game. My mom and them came to the hotel mm. and to meet my, to meet my, meet my refer, receiver coach, Coach Fred. He's still his receiver coach as now, uh, as of now. And uh, they came in talking to my mom. He was like, "Yeah, man, Ship is a great kid." Great play for us. He, uh, he was like, he's going to be, um, he's going to do great at the next level. So I'm like, I heard him say, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like <laughs> where that come from? Like, yeah. I ain't sending nobody. I'm like, all right, well, that's cool. Maybe, maybe he just kept me up to my mom and making it feel good. I was like, all right, cool. End up ball in the ball game. After the ball game, I remember texting Coach Roll. So I seen people like with me, like I'm not a person who like to waste time, and I seen people. Go through this process and give it to y'all. Work out every day and then be disappointed in that draft and knowing they had a shot. So I didn't want to go through that. You didn't want to go through that disappointment. disappointment. So I remember texting. I remember I was in my kitchen, my grandma's kitchen. I texted my I text coach wrote this long paragraph. I was like, you can be. I said uh, before I start this uh, start this process. Like, can you be honest with me? Like, can you? And do I have a shot? I don't want to waste time. I respect. I will start my get into what I got to get into. Uh, outside of football, I don't really. Uh, so I'm basically like explaining to him that do I have a chance? Like before I start putting my feet into this door and giving them my all, like from your perspective, you know, you you know more more than anybody. Mm. Do I have a chance? And I never get texted back. It was like, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he said, but yeah, are you crazy? Yeah. I just said, say no more. And I went. I just locked in on that process. Or I remember we went down Miami with T I, Smith. I was acting crazy down there. Going down there with T Smith training by Marito's in the summertime. I mean, not summertime, during the spring. process, yeah, during the spring. springtime, training by Marito's. I was training at home too. Yeah, you uh, was locked in now. I didn't drink alcohol. I didn't really go wild. I was like, man, if I'm going, if I'm going to do this, yeah, I'm gonna do a hundred percent. And this window was like this. I'm gonna do it a hundred percent. Say I didn't have no regrets. Mm -hmm. So I put it all in. I put it all on the table, and it's what it is. And I remember uh, working out by Marito's, and I was and Tyrod Teller was throwing it to it, throwing it me and T Smith. Mm. And he asked me, he was like, who team you play for? That's when I knew I was, I, I ah, got to take the up. That's when I knew. I was like, yeah. Up. I said, yeah, it's ball game. So when he said that to me, it, I mean, he, like I said, he thought, I'm like, he, he thought I was already in the league. Yeah. You know? So I'm like, oh yeah, I said, yeah, I got, that's a wrap. Yeah. yeah. Then the whole process, I went, in there, went into my pro day and lit it up. Yeah. Like it was, it was a wrap. And I'm coming out, I had, I could have went to, uh, well, my grade was a six rounder to a, a, a priority free agent. Yeah. And uh, 
still doing the process. You know, I had like little workouts with teams and little talks and visits, dinners and all that with teams. For real. Talk oh, about yeah. that, man. Hey, come on, give us some details, <laughs> man. Cause I ain't listen, I ain't had that. You ain't had all that? Nah, I ain't had no. Oh, they didn't? came into the school and yeah. they did all that. They had like little interviews and stuff like yeah. that, but I ain't never had like the workouts and like the little workouts, workouts and all that. Nah. Okay, so uh yeah, the pro day, like I said, the pro day I did, I did great. Like I weighed and I tested great. My, yeah. My, Workout was excellent. Yeah, talk about this 40. Yeah. We'll talk about this uh, 40. Uh, ended up running a 4-4 four, four low. Um, and just, I mean, like I said, I passed the eye test. And also, yeah. like, my production wasn't high, but they told me, like, when you had the opportunity, you took advantage of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw the yeah, splashes. Yeah. You've yeah. seen the athletes. That's why I tell everybody, like, they going to they gonna see it. They, gonna, they, they do enough. Their job is to... Dissect and yeah. look at everything. He's like, we knew you had a Robbie Anderson next to you. You was getting all the targets. You was getting the mm -hmm. secondary yeah, looks, yeah, and, I, yeah, and you yeah. was making the most of it. It's part of it's what it was, and we and we understood that. Yeah. And also, granted, I played both sides of the ball. I was a special teams guy, which is huge. Huge. Trying to, I mean, sell yourself to the next level. You got to be. You can't be a, a one a one one way street. Yeah. I guess unless you like a, a freak. Yeah. First, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. First round, second just, round, yeah. You just that's just what it is. But um, yeah, so after my pro day, like I said, I I, I signed my agent. Uh, he was telling me who, who was interested in me, looking yeah, at me. So yeah, yeah. Pro day came, lit it up, and now I added more scouts into my into my uh, to or into their on, on to their board. Yeah. And uh, and after that, I was getting calls. My agent, I was getting having, I was having to come to the facility, do a little workouts with like the Texans, Chargers, yeah, little yeah, workouts, yeah. stuff like that, little routes. How that make interviews. you feel during that time, bro? I feel like I mean, I feel you feel like, like you was bull. Make it, so I'm like. <laughs> I see, I see, I go, I go online, I see, oh, it's draft grade, it's six rounds. Yeah. To the I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. But granted, I didn't have, I didn't think this was even possible. Like, even yeah. a, even yeah. a situ going to be situation coming, like even in my going to my senior year. So it was like, damn, this really happened. I remember people were like, damn, like, damn. So that kind of motivated people, like, at my school, like, yeah. damn, B can do it. Do it. I mean, it's, it's here. It's possible like, for me. Yeah. I ain't got to be, I ain't got to be the, the front front runner, media yeah. guy, the team. I, ain't, I was never that guy. I wasn't, I wasn't a media guy. I wasn't yeah. a front runner. I wasn't a single digit guy. I wasn't, yeah. wasn't those things. But I always did what I had to do. Knew what I had to do. Yeah. Make plays when I had my opportunity, whether mm -hmm. it was little to whatever the situation is. And so, uh, yeah, my workouts and dinner. We had like, we had, sometimes we had like dinner, dinner dates with the coat with the scouts and just yeah. talk to you just get, mm -hmm. get, get picking your brain you, pick your brain where yep. your family from and mm -hmm. smart characters because when the NFL come involved they want to know everything, everything about you yeah. they wanna right know, they want to know your background how you grew up mm -hmm. how you think everything outside of, even outside of football so I had those things and then how you was in middle school I, yeah, in they, they talked talk, talk to yeah, they, they'll reach out to Anybody they have to to get information, information yeah, they try to true, see. true information on you, like you feel me? So, and the reason why they doing that, like if you listening, like the reason why they doing that, because they gonna be paying you yes, a substantial amount of money. Yeah. You an investment to them, so they got to figure out mm -hmm. how much money am I gonna put into this investment? Yeah, exactly. Is it gonna be worth it? Yep. And if it's not worth it, I'm not spending my money yeah, on exactly. it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we talk exactly. about getting in trouble. We talk about you know doing stuff in college and not being responsible, getting mm -hmm. underages and doing all these things. Mm -hmm. They going down the list. Looking so the and they want to and they want to see if you're gonna lie about yeah, it too. Yeah, yep, exactly. Yep. They gonna ask you about it because they already know. Yeah, they already know. This is the thing that people don't really know. They, they got your whole know. thing already. They know mm -hmm. where you from, where you slept, your yeah, address, everything. what your phone number was. Shoot, like all of it. So all like everything, literally. When it come everything. down to the bottom of it, bro, like you really gotta like. Yo, listen to what Ship is saying, bro. A lot of y'all kids is going through this process and y'all want to get to the process mm -hmm. and y'all raising your hands saying mm -hmm. y'all want to be pro athletes. But yep. like, these are the things that you got to remember that yeah. as a freshman, as a sophomore, as a junior, as a senior, bro, they watching you. Even younger than that. Even younger than that yeah. now. Like, it's getting different. They got you. They watching in middle school, in middle school now. T. Smith told me they went all the way back to elementary. Yeah, they want like, to see who you hang. They want to know who you like, hang out with. They want to know. That's good, kids, bro. All that. They, they giving know. out they giving out big bags nowadays, man. Yeah, and they really yeah. do want to know. Yeah. And yeah. they get they get paid yeah, yeah, to know all that information that, yeah. about you, bro. Because they, they gotta bring job. it to their boss. Mm -hmm. So, like, bro, that's some valuable information, yeah, bro. And if you ain't really tapped in, mm -hmm. bro, tap in, man. Yeah. Because a lot Fair of us now. really want to be yep. pro athletes, man. Mm -hmm. But we don't know what it really entails. Yeah, yeah, like I said, NFL, like I said, it's right now. I mean, it might seem attainable, but like it's, it's really hard. Like it's yeah. really hard. It's literally like well, I don't know I don't know the statistics on it, but it's little to none little, chance yeah. you're gonna make it. It's like point zero percent. Yeah, so it's like you gotta just be elite 
Yeah. With whatever mindset, the elite mindset in general. Like you can't, and you got to, like I said, you got to know like your rap sheet is literally part of everything. Yeah. Your identity. Like if you got, if you got history of filling classes, getting kicked out of school. If you're not, I mean, like, like if you got a rap sheet of any bad character issues, now yeah. you now you on you on the you on the downside of of, of trying to yeah. have even have a chance to get drafted to get, yeah dra- get to get to get to where you want to get to no nah, for real bro and well, some people get fortunate where they 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 find themselves in lucky situations yeah. where mm-hmm. your talent exceeds you yeah, getting in exactly. trouble but you know what I'm saying but you know yeah, everybody's, everybody's different everybody's story different, different yeah. and everybody's outcome is different everybody mm-hmm. you know, all right so yeah. let's transition from that phase boom you make it to the league yeah. bro mm-hmm. you 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 there now yeah. like. So yeah, talk so, about it. So yeah, when draft day, I remember uh, a few teams called. Well, they tried to sign me. Uh, mm-hmm. it was, uh, you know, of course, I came to Miami, mm-hmm. uh, the Texans, the Packers. So so basically, I, I started watching the draft from like the last day mm-hmm. because I knew I was just going to be at least a six rounder. Yeah, to priority, but I didn't get drafted. What was that feeling like, though? Let's talk about that feeling and that in between, like. You like you said, like you never really wanted to be disappointed. Mm-hmm. You did get your hopes up. You did work hard. Like talk about like, bro, and those moments of seeing a sixth round, seeing mm-hmm. a seventh round mm-hmm. go. Like talk about that feeling of watching it. And your hopes go from being like here to here. Yeah. So it's like yeah, that too. So it was like damn, like this 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 this, this time is going f- flying now. Like yeah. I ain't, you know. And also at the time it was crazy. At the time, uh, whoever know Tyler Mendy Kevich was like. Mm-hmm. A huge temple legend, mm-hmm. still in the league, Buffalo Bills. He was a uh, the what's that, Benaric Award winner, at and, Nerick, yeah, linebacker, yeah, linebacker of the whole nation, like yeah. at Temple, like he had every accolade you can ever have. Go, and he wasn't drafted yet, so I'm like, I'm so now at this point, I'm getting confused. I'm like, I was having all this, what's going on? Like he he didn't get picked up yet, mm-hmm. but also with Robbie Anderson at the time. Uh, so I just, you know, I mean, I just, mean, I, I'm just, I just put it in God's hands. I was like, yeah. man, let me just relax and just see what's going on. Then, soon as the last pick of the draft happened, phone started buzzing. Boom, uh, agent called me. Was like, yeah, Miami wants you, Texans wants you, Packers wants you, Patriots wants you, and Chargers. And uh, this is what they got. This is what they want to give you. This is what they want to give you. Yeah. You're a priority. Yeah. Uh, they, it's like kind of like, it's not slotted. They can offer you. A signing bonus. A signing bonus to sign. pick a, yeah, sign with them. Yeah. Others. So they all, all, they all offer you different amounts of money. Yeah. So, and during the process, I had a, I had like a great relationship with uh, the scout and the special teams coordinator at Miami. Mm. Uh, Rizzy, Coach Rizzy. Shout out to Coach Rizzy. And, uh, they, you could see that they was like, oh, they, they was really interested. Interesting, in me, yeah, gave yeah. Me, gave me a nice, a nice amount of money uh, to sign, and I always thought about it. I mean, it's a, it might sound like a joke, but I used to be like, man, so I'm gonna get cut. I'm about to go have fun doing it. <laughs> Take my time to South Beach. Let me go to let me go to South Beach. Yeah. Man. You know, I'm a, I'm a Florida. I love Florida. Like you know, yeah. being my you know, too, I, I was just like, man, yeah. listen, I can't. I'm going to. I'm, I'm man, going to Florida. You, I ain't you both. Texas, I told my agent, man, we going to Florida, man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so uh, that's how they, that's how I ended up being my rookie year, uh, Miami. Yeah. They signed, who they wanted to sign the draft, who they wanted, we didn't, they didn't have a rookie tryout. It was like, they got who they wanted to get yeah. half, and. You was there. And it was there, and yeah. a couple of draft picks, and we was, and that's you was kinda, like You was acting goofy. I saw the, I saw the, I remember yeah, the man, videos, it was man. Fun. Yeah, it was, like I said, it, it was, it was definitely a fun experience. I don't, I don't regret nothing. I, don't, I yeah. had a great time. I, re- I met great people. One of my close friends, uh, Xavier Howard, I met there. Yeah, man. A lot of, King and Drake. Respect. Uh, Jeremy a couple guys that we we came together, we still maintain our, our relationship. relationship to yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you 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 bounced around. You've been mm-hmm. on how many teams though? You've been on a couple of teams. Uh, yeah, four teams. So I went to Miami. And then yeah. I went to another big hot spot, in Los Angeles. Yeah, with bro. the Rams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then I went to Kansas City uh, Chiefs. Uh, then I went to uh, the Tennessee Titans. Yeah. So yeah, I bounced around. Uh, like I said, that's just. I mean, that's just part of. Uh, being that, you mean that that blue collar priority? That's just, journey. That's, just, that's your journey. That's just like yeah. a journey, man. That's just part yeah. of the business side of it. Uh, you mean you sometimes you you get discouraged knowing that you might be better than a draft pick, and mm, but you yeah. have no literally no control over over your destiny. Like if you if they don't want to give you reps, you're just not getting them reps to showcase whatever you got going yeah. on. It's just like 
And that kind of was like, and they want to send you home when they want to send you home. They're going to send you home when they want to send you home. They want to bring mm-hmm. you back when they want to bring you back. They're going to bring you back when they want to bring yeah. you back. So it's like, it, it's a great experience. It's fun. It's you make your money. It's a it's a it's a life changing experience. It's a yeah. it's a it's a experience that people dream about. Yeah. They, they wish they could be there. So you take you take that just with 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 a lot of grateful uh, yeah. feeling towards it. Uh, but it was just like I said, you know, with you, like yeah, we were, like me and she would, we me and she would just. Seem to be home at the same, same time, time and yeah. then get signed at the same Sound time. time. It was yeah, literally bro. like it was literally like it was like literally my my twin when it came bro, to the process was, of the yeah. journey. It really was. We'll come man. home, get with Rez, and we he'll get a call. Yeah, then I'll get not, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we both we, leave, we, us, we yeah. leave, and then we'll come yeah. back all season, and then it'd be like the, the same cycle. And like I said, doing the process, you doing that whole process, and wow. I always say people were like it's not really like they was like how you feel about it. Uh, I feel I like I like that I made relationships in yeah. football. Like that's yeah. like one of the biggest thing I took away from it. Like yeah. money, cool. The 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 highlights of you even being in that position is cool. But the relationships you make, the friendships you make, that's the bonds you make is, yeah. is, is everlasting. Football is a short short time in your life, mm-hmm. but yeah. the relationships can last forever, ever, bro. I mean, you, and you never know. You never know where that relationship could take you, yeah. or what it could do for you, or what you could do for them. Yeah. And 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 it's just it, and that's something special I got from it. And like I said, outside of the the security problems about it, because you know, it was hard, bro. Not having no security is kind of like an uneasy feeling. No, nah, yeah. bro, yeah, For four bro. or five years of your life. And talk about. I want you to talk about that, man. I really want you to talk about those times yeah. you got cut, bro. I remember yeah. like times where like I was. I remember. I was down. He was down. Oh, I, and I always be like, "Shit, man, we gonna get lucky." Yeah. Every time he used to be down. Like, yeah, we, just, yeah. You know, you know, she's one of them guys who who, who really put the work in. He, he he really. We all deserve. We should be there. And it's yeah. like, and it's kind of like disappointing feeling when yeah, when it's out of your hands. Yeah. Or, and when and when they could just send you home and knowing you gave it all you can, it's mm-hmm. like, man, I'm still home again. Yeah. This keep happening again. So I just I found a way to just I mean, look at everything in the positive and, and keep. And keep a grateful mindset. It's like, man, they give me opportunity. I can't like every time I got cut. Yeah, I'd be like, damn. Yeah. But I always go to the gym and coach. Be like, man, I appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate you give me the opportunity. Yeah. Man, and I'm that like, go a long way. That go a long, that go a long. So I end up being on four or five teams. So I'm, and the reason why I end up she being on four times, four or five teams because yeah, bro. when he was there, he was a. He, they always told me, shit, you come to clock, you you come in clock in, you do your job, you know what you're doing. You, you didn't do nothing to yeah. tell me you don't belong here. It's yeah, just it's part of the, it's part of the business. Like it's, it's a numbers you, game. It's part of the business. And you, if you once you really understand that, it helps you, it helps you navigate yourself through them processes. But like yeah. I said, it's definitely not easy. But like I said, it comes with a lot of blessings. It kind of comes with a lot of, a lot of, a lot of reason to be. I yeah. mean, happy about stuff. Nah, you know? for real. So man. You got to you got to find that. You got to pinpoint those just those experience and times to to. Or make you overcome just the negative side of it, mm. which is the business. And yeah, I try to instill that in she when she would go through his things, yeah, and, but she never stopped. She never gave up. Yeah, and that always was. We just we just kept feeding up each other. We never yeah, gonna, go, yeah. gonna keep going until we until we say until we say we done with it. Yeah, nah, for we real, man. And like to be honest, bro, like, bro, like all the things that we've been through and all the things that we've seen, man. Like, I never wanted to stop because I felt like we was the ones, man. Like yeah. we was the hope. And then, like, for real, for real, like, when I got released from Carolina, bro, mm-hmm. like, that's when I was just like, you know what? We don't really talk about the CFL like that. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't grow up dreaming about going to go play there. And I remember, like, me and you used to go back and forth, like, like about this CFL thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, bro, like. I'm going. Yeah, 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 right. And you would be like, ah, mm-hmm. like, and now that I'm hearing you talk about it, like you never really wanted to be disappointed that if you went up there and it didn't work out, yeah, you didn't really want to experience uh, not, that that type of pain, yeah, that type exactly. of hurt. That, so and yeah. I and I and I feel you because like now I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the big picture. I'm like, dang, like exactly. you know, that's you know, like, and I'm not trying to compare me and you, but like, bro, like, I couldn't stop because I really I wanted. To be honest, bro, I wanted you to believe that you could keep going too. Yeah. So, like, bro, like that's like you were a big part of why I went to the CFL, yeah, bro. Yeah. Because when we had these conversations, you was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't doing that, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't really with that. And I'm just like, nah, like <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna do this for all of us. Yeah, I'm gonna nah, do it. Yeah. Bro, my mom, I'm gonna make it cool. My mom too. My mom still yeah. yo, tell Brandon <laughs> bro, every time. My mom bro, every bro, time. It bro. would be so crazy, bro. Like it would get to a point where like. 
I'm trying to prove this to bring everybody. I'm, I've always had the same mindset. Yeah. I'm trying to bring everybody with me. Yeah. I remember being on the phone with Ship like, yo, you need to come up here, bro. Yeah. Like, let's go. Like, you, you way yeah. too talented to ju just be like, you know yeah. what? Like, I'm nah, I'm done. Like, I ain't even really trying to yeah. trying to chase that, bro. And mm -hmm. like, bro, like just, bro, like those moments, man. Like, bro, like you, you really helped me, bro. Yeah. And like, I don't think I ever tell you enough. But like through those times where like I really did need like a shoulder or somebody yeah. to be like or somebody who could really understand what I was kind of yeah. going through. But then at the same time, I was mad at you, too, because I'm like, bro, like mm -hmm. I want you up here with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. And then, boom, I won the first great cup. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, shit, man, I told you, man, come on up here, bro. And then I won the second one. And they were just yeah. like, bro, like, come on. Yeah. And bro, like, like you really were a really big part yeah. of why I chose to because I wanted to make you believe yeah. in it, bro. Nah, for sure, like, for sure. And like I said, with me though, like I I kinda like I'm I kinda get joy yeah. from seeing like my friends succeed. Nah, yeah. So like whether I was playing there or not, like even with my, my friends, hi, you yeah, like, yeah. like seeing them succeed, seeing yeah. them play, seeing y'all play, like you feel like, for you, like yeah. I'm I'm yeah. there. So yeah. that was kind of like a, a way of a easy way to transition, like yeah. to see them see, see y'all, yeah. see y'all succeed. Like I said, I never kind of really understand like hate, jealousy, and all that. Like I always feel like yeah, it's a space in this world. Money, enough money in this world for everybody to win, whether it's in sports, outside of sports. And like I said, a big thing with, with me was just security. Like, and, yeah, and going and I, and I didn't want to leave the game with an ill feeling. Like at yeah. times, she you talking to you, you had ill feelings about the game. Yeah, I did. And I didn't want to and I didn't want to leave the game with that because yeah. I know how the business work. I don't want to go up to CFO knowing yeah. I'm better than ninety percent of players up there. But but yeah, dealing with business and politics and ratios, I'm. Kick to the curb and had to go do a, a gruciation process yeah. to even get to yeah. you know, to be able to play, which I watched she go through, and it's yeah. like, yeah, man. I mean, I love the game, and at yeah. that point, I was content of yeah. my journey. Like I, I, I did. I put it all on the table. I mean, if my heart and my and my passion and 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 wasn't there wasn't there for it, I wasn't going to mm. go up there and kind of like I would rather put that energy into something into else. Into something else to, I mean, and then and, we talking but, about that. I want you to talk about that, man. How how hard was it for you to transition out of that and letting it go? So, and do you still have trouble with it? Nah. So with me, like I said, what, what helped me was like watching like my my friends yeah. still ball out and, and being close it, to you it. know you yeah. know I travel to all my friends' yeah. games and mm -hmm. go watch them play. Like I'm. One of the biggest cheerleaders, and that, and that gives me that gave me like a a, a good feeling. I mean, that my home yeah. is still in that, and, yeah. I, and, I, and I'm going to support y'all. Like I said, I'm gonna always be here for you. Anybody to talk to, I'm gonna go to y'all games. I'm gonna watch. Yeah. I'm gonna analyze. I'm gonna make sure y'all getting right with Reds. Yeah. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going. I'm going to make sure y'all y'all are uh, maximize your opportunity while yep. you're here. Mm -hmm. And that gives me, like I said, me giving that and creating it connections. Makes and you that, that yeah. gives me a joy. It gives me. Stick part, stay part of the game, yeah, and stick around the game. But through me, nah, my, man, I respect that, bro. Like, mm -hmm. and, and I'm gonna give, you, I'm gonna give a backstory about that, bro. Like for real, like, you know, him and Hodge are like real close, right? Hodge and, or Hodge? Hodge, I'm Hodge, tripping. Yeah. Hodge, Hodge, you and yeah. Hodge. Hodge, 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 too. my man's Hodge. Hodge, one of one of another one. He of really us. was, yeah, bro. Man. But, but Hodge, Legend. man, like, yeah. bro, like, you've been out of the game for a couple of years now, yeah. bro. And, and let me tell you about shit, bro. And, and I don't think we talked about him enough, bro, and his and what he does, bro. This dude really do care, bro. Like, yeah. like 100%. He's showing up at the workouts, yep. working out with us yep. like he's still playing. Yep. And, like, I don't think he really – like, I know he knows, but, like, I want to say it from my point of view. Mm -hmm. As a player who's still playing and when I can still feel him next to me, pause, and, like, we – No we, Diddy. We, 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 mm -hmm. No Diddy. But, like, mm -hmm. I can feel that energy when we – we, bro, we at Temple Field, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. in the indoor, we bro, vibing, yeah. we, we going. I feel like it's, like – I got so, that support system. I got that energy around nah. me that I need to keep catapulting me to my next level. Bro, I, and like, yeah. just to have that around, bro. Yeah. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm nah, saying? Yeah. Like, bro, because like, I think that the support system don't get enough thank yous. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And bro, this this me giving you your flowers yeah. for putting your own pride aside yeah. and saying, you know what? I'm going to still be there for my, my guys God, no matter is, what. Because I remember yeah. last year you was like, yo, 
We need ship at this. You know what I mean? I, bro, I, I'm I calling remember, for I'm like, where is he? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, what's yeah, up? No, sure. I need, I bro, that, I need yeah. it. I know I need it. I yeah. know how's be nah, needing that did, energy. We was just on last Friday. Bro, bro. yeah. yeah. Like, and and because sure. when we all get together, bro, That's different. it reminds us that, like, yeah. why you doing what you yeah, doing? Yeah, sure. Because yeah. I'm not only fighting for my dreams, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm fighting for yeah, yours yeah, that you yeah, had to yeah, let yeah. go and yeah. move on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just like, man, like, bro, thank you, bro. Yeah, and right. and and I know y'all was trying to come at me saying I'll be I'll be acting Hollywood and I'll answer the phone. Yeah, and, I, oh yes, and all this great oh, stuff. God. He be I know he got his little great cups and all that. That's <laughs> he couldn't. You texting? Congrats! You won't get texted back for a month. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I thought she was my bro. Yeah, she... But nah, but granted, though, he got a lot of mean people got... Nah, it's know, not I, even... I never bro, it be... It be... Never things personal. No, no, bro, I, I didn't listen. You ain't got to It be to crazy, bro. I know at the end of the day, you my brother at the end of the day. You man. get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, and that's why, I, that. that's why I love about our relationship, bro. It'll feel like we off, but when we get back together, it's just that like, bro, yeah, we can... Like, bro, we can literally be on the phone for like an hour oh, and a half. Yeah. Like, the first 30 minutes it's is him like, bro, like, where you been at? Like, what's going on? Like, blah, 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 blah. Like, I just want to check in with my guy. And then like, bro, like like, I kind of, like, lose touch with everybody because, like, yeah. bro, I really be going yeah. through it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I, trust me. <laughs> like, I know. I, I watch the process. The hardest thing is, like, trying to block out everything mm -hmm. and trying to stay locked in. Yeah, no, nah, it is. Like, especially at this time in your life and this age and what you've been through. And it's just, like, a lot of things started still getting repetitive. And yeah, like, man. Man, when it's... When am I? When my big break when, gonna happen? Yeah. And I'm so, like, and bro, like and that's year, the, what's the year? What's the year? Ten for eleven. Year ten, bro. That's crazy. The fact that you made it, up, made it to that <laughs> as a pro athlete Man, is crazy. Bro. Like that's yo, that's bro, above, way past, way past the expectancy. And then stepping into this new realm, man, is yeah. definitely beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Like, but before we end the show, bro, before we close this show, man, we need that moment. We need that. We need that keep going segment from you, bro. We need you to to really tap into that time and really talk about like, you know, a time in your life where, you know, you had to pick it all back up, where you had to keep going and, you know, you had to put it all back together and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was down, you felt it, but you had to move on and you had to keep going. You know, talk about yeah, it, bro. Uh, like I said, kind of like when I when I uh, uh, elaborated on earlier, probably, it's probably two times in my life, uh, the first time was, uh, like I said, the injury when it yeah. happened, when I thought it was completely over. Uh, the fact that I had to really start from scratch mm. and build myself back up in a short amount of time, uh, I found that uh, that's when I actually like found my drive. Mm. Like I knew nothing, I knew nothing was going to stop me from getting. from getting to where I needed to get to. Like I said, so it was like. I knew I knew that I started thinking like more logically. Like mm. I only have a year left to mm. get what I need to get to. So it's like it's either I can mope around, sob around, and give up and be discouraged, or I or I gotta attack this month. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And that's kind of like how great going back to my how my mom operated, watching her as I got older. Like yeah, talk about it. If the lights get cut off. They gonna come back on at some point. So it's like she, man, she can't sit around and give up, move around. She's gonna have to get to it. And I, I said, watching that unconsciously growing up, it was mm. instilled into us. It. Like, man, we can't, we gotta, we gotta find a way. Yeah. You gotta can you gotta, gotta find a way. Mm. And as a, and as a, and and you know, you start learning that as an adult, nobody cares. If you're not, if you're not, I mean, if you're not, nobody cares. There's nobody here to hold your hand. Mm. There's nobody here to, I mean, put you in the pitch you if you don't wanna. If you don't want to get there, you get me. Yeah. So that that process kind of like just just molded me my my mindset like to to to. Cause I said before that, I was a guy who was just living off talent, just being a a teenage kid and yeah. messing up in school and doing all that. So that's kind of like a way. That's kind of like a pivotal moment where I had to like like pick it pick it up. Outside of that, like my mom always. Made a bubble where it didn't feel. Talk about it. Like it, it didn't feel like we was really going through those struggles. Yeah. We was, but it's like she made it a bubble where, like me going to school getting free lunch. I didn't know, I didn't know why I was getting free lunch. Right? Yeah. But it was like she, 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 she did her. What she had to do, to make an environment to keep us together and keep yeah. me on a on a path my, where my brother went to college. I went to college. 
my little sister went to college. Like, that's like rare in a black single mom household. Yeah, Facts. Bro. So like just seeing that, I was like, man, there's no way I can ever go through all this to me to just throw this away. Yeah, mm-hmm. bro. Being too cool for school yeah. and stuff like that. And um, like I said, ever since then, I've always been the same guy. I've always been like humble, I've always been real chill, always been a giver, I've always been a good energy guy, yeah. man. Always, man, kept relations with everybody in a positive yeah. way. Everybody see me, I'm. They know, they know it's all good vibes. Yeah. Never, never come with any malicious intent. Yeah. Um. I just, cause I just, like I said, I know, I just know that if you do good by people, they'll do good by you. And if you, and this is how the universe works, man. And, that's love, man. And like I said, it's just like I said, that's a, a lot of little situations that you could say. I, but it's that's probably the most pivotal, where I. Kind of the whole part flipped the switch. It was like, all right, boom, let's lock in. I got potential. That's love, man. Like you think about these times, you think about these moments, and you and you you always look back and you realize what made you you. Yeah. And you know it's definitely special, bro. Just to you know to watch your journey, to be a part of it, for you to be a part of my journey, bro. For you to be my brother. You know what I'm nice. saying? Like Kenny, I know. Like, yeah, 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 you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, if you even want to close something out and tell, I want yeah. you to tell them, nah, how, you, tell them how you feel, like, man. Like, yeah, bro, you know you know how we are, bro. Yeah. No, I appreciate everything, bro. Mm-hmm. Again, I don't know what I would be doing if yeah. you didn't just give me that, yeah. that little sense of hope of, yeah, bro, you can do it. Even everybody you've been bringing to me, bro, it's just like, you believe in me, bro. You know what I mean? And I, again, when you said, you know, you can count on me for not messing up your name. I know that, bro. Yeah, and know, that's why I go hard. I mean, and any opportunity you bring my way, I'm going to capitalize on it. And, um, you know, I love you. I appreciate you. And um, thanks for coming, bro. Dead ass. <laughs> I'm glad to be here, man. Dang, so shout, out, man. shout out to y'all. Keep doing y'all thing, man. Yeah, this, man. Is, this, is, this, is, this is something special. It's going to be something really special, man. Keep on, keep on going. This is a great platform for not only... Y'all to get what y'all get into get yeah. out for just I mean y'all just to come yeah. on and just tell these story however however they want to tell it and I love it man like bro like continue to walk on this journey with us y'all mm-hmm. I mean we didn't we didn't shed and we didn't talk and we didn't mm-hmm. we didn't we didn't felt some moments that we haven't talked about in a long time bro and that's what Showtime speaks is all about bro mm-hmm. you know continue to walk on this journey with us y'all continue to be with us and you always always know it's always gonna be Showtime speaks. There is no tomorrow. There is.